Namaste and uh, good morning to all. Greetings from the holy land of Pondicherry. And it is indeed a matter of great pleasure for us to invite uh, today's speaker, Sri Raji Samaruviji, and all of you for this uh, initiative. That you know that uh, Shurabindu Society is one of the international organizations working in the field of promoting spirituality into a dynamic life. It has its more than 300 branches all over India and in some other countries. And the society has been recognized by the government of India as one of the research institutes and institution of national importance. And we are trying to rediscover the uh, genius and outstanding magnificence of Indian culture through different activities, research and program things. On the eve of the 75th years of India's independence and 150th birth anniversary of Sri Aurobindo, we have started several initiatives to promoting the uh, significance and the most essential things of the Indian culture. And one of the project is Bal Samskriti towards creativity and integral development. This is basically on a project which is specifically focused on the child uh, and its main focus is to, uh, for the development of the child, focusing on the integral aspects as per the teachings of the mother and Sri Aurobindo. And under this series, we are regularly organizing some of the workshops, the programs. And today is a very nice opportunity for us to collaborate with uh, Sabda Yatra and the Institute for Industrial Development for this uh, today's lecture. And uh, we have with us Sri Rajesh Amrohiji, who is basically the uh, former member of IDPA, Indian Document Production Association. And he is the creative head of Productions Institute of Industrial Development, uh, Sri Rajesh Amrohiji. Uh, I rather than say Rajesh Bhaiya, because we have a good relationship. It's more than one decade. We had a, when I was at Delhi in 2009, I met with few people and he's one of them. And that relationship is continuing. And you listen to him, what kind of creativity he has and what kind of uh, the genius he has. So Rajesh Bhaiya is, uh, and a, really an artist and a person have multiple skills and expertises. Having expertise in film and television production, he has written, produced and directed almost 200 hours of quality and meaningful content for various channels of Prasad, Bharti, corporate houses and other agencies. He has produced many independent documentaries which have been sold on various national channels and has attended and participated in many national and international film festivals. He's a master's in political science from Punjab University and experience in a wide range of film and video projects from their inception to completion. He is an independent filmmaker and communication expert and experience of using a variety of production equipments having the expertise of script analysis and providing inputs for any necessary script changes and skilled and writing and editing scenes, treatments and scripts and proficient in films and sound editing, etc. So on behalf of Aurobharti Shurabindu Society, I welcome Sardhyatra and uh, Institute for Industrial Development for collaborating with us. And with immense pleasure, I welcome Rajesh Bhaiya for today's talk. Rajesh Bhaiya will speak on one of the very significant and important topics that is mind, the way to creative analytical generations. If we'll refer to the integral education of the mother and Shurabindo they have imparted, they have given special emphasis on the integral development of the child focusing on the mind, how we can create this. The mother says, the childhood is the symbol of the future and the hope of all the victories to come. If we we'll refer to the 
system of education which they have imparted from the child it says the first principle of true teaching is that nothing can be taught the teacher is not an instructor or taskmaster he is a helper and guide his business is to suggest and not to impose he does not actually train the pupil's mind he only shows him how to perfect his instruments of knowledge and helps and encourages him through the process he doesn't impart knowledge to him he shows him how to acquire knowledge for himself he doesn't call for the knowledge that is within he only shows him where it lies and how it can be habituated to rise to the surface this is the basic principles of integral education and uh, we are trying to implement the ideas of shorbindo and the mother through this special project on bal sanskriti and uh, today we are very happy to receive one of the learned speakers rajesh bhaiya and uh, now uh, rajesh bhaiya the floor is yours most welcome thank you very much dr tripathi for your kind words ladies and gentlemen i am a documentary film by profession as dr tripathi has said i proudly say that i have had the opportunity to work with many children while doing documentaries short serials and did some of theatrical workshops with children you know when i go to conduct a workshop i go as a teacher to teach but trust me during all these years many of the children have impacted my mind to a great extent they are not just learners they are great teachers they teach you at every moment they teach you to be innovative creative tactful diplomatic and use democratic ways to understand the world and share knowledge so i'll share few of my experiences with you today but before we uh, proceed further and talk about the topic i just want to show a very uh, just 5 minutes short film to you uh, which is about water uh, the film is based on the ppt of former uh, indian president uh, just a 5 minutes film the title is water Can you hear it now? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sarvi bhavan so so dina, sarvi santu niramaya, sarvi bhadra ni pashyantu, ma kasi chidu dukha bhagavi. पृथ्वी जल अग्नि वायु और आकाश पांच तत्व कोई एक तत्व बिगड़ा नहीं कि जीवन नष्ट हो जाएगा पानी के स्रोत लगातार घटते जा रहे हैं ऐसा ही रहा तो 2070 आते आते सब मंजर बदल जाएगा भविष्य का संसार हर तरफ लोग मास्क पहने नजर आएंगे बिना पानी किडनिया खराब होंगी सबके पानी की प्यास लोग गोलियों से बुझाएंगे और पचपन की उम्र के लोग पिचासी के नजर आएंगे होंगे बाघ न पेड़ों पर पक्षी चहचहाएंगे पानी से नहाना होगा दुश्वार मिनरल ऑयल से लिपटे तौरिये से लोग सिर्फ शरीर साफ कर पाएंगे औरतों के सरों के बाल होंगे नदारद सरों के रोज लोग शेव बनाएंगे और आठ गिलास रोज पानी की जगह सिर्फ आधे गिलास से ही काम चलाएंगे
पानी बचाओ पानी बचाओ की चेतावनियां जब सुनता नहीं कोई तो झील नदी नाले सब दूषित होंगे या सूख जाएंगे फैक्ट्रियां ठप होंगी रोजगार खत्म हो जाएंगे डिसलिनेशन प्लांट से लोग थोड़ा कमा पाएंगे और काम की मजदूरी में लोग पानी पाएंगे बंदूक की नोक पर होगी पानी की लूटमार 80 प्रतिशत खानों का स्वाद लोग प्लास्टिक जैसा पाएंगे स्किन कैंसर और हजारों बीमारियां होंगी 20 साल के युवा 40 के नजर आएंगे पानी का उत्पाद तो हो नहीं सकता पेड़ और वेजिटेशन रह नहीं पाएंगे इसलिए ऑक्सीजन होगी खराब ज्यादातर मर्दों के शुक्राणु नष्ट हो जाएंगे पैदा होने वाले बच्चों में होगी बीमारियों की भरमार प्रदूषण से ओजोन लेयर को हम बचा नहीं पाएंगे हवा में सांस लेने का हमें चुकाना होगा टैक्स जो टैक्स नहीं भर पाएंगे वो सूर्य से चलने वाले मैकेनिकल लंग्स के साथ वेंटिलेशन सिस्टम से बाहर फेंक दिए जाएंगे औसतन आदमी की उम्र होगी पैंतीस साल पानी के स्रोत जहां कहीं भी बचे होंगे लोग वहां फौज के पहरे बिठाएंगे सोना हीरे सस्ते पानी महंगा होगा पेड़ होंगे नदारद बारिश होगी कम परमाणु प्रयोग इंडस्ट्रियल पोल्यूशन से सारे मौसम बदल जाएंगे बच्चे पूछेंगे मां बाप से अपने अब पानी क्यों नहीं मिलता हम उनसे आंख नहीं मिला पाएंगे शर्म से पागल हो जाएंगे क्योंकि धरती को बर्बाद करने वालों के हम चैंपियन जो कहलाएंगे जल्द धरती पर रहना असंभव हो जाएगा समय तेजी से बदल रहा है मगर अब भी हमारे पास समय है Thanks for watching. Why I showed this film to you guys? Because I shared this film, showed this film to many children in schools and workshops. Trust me, the kind of insights and the comments I received from children was like mind-boggling. One of the very interesting comment by a just twelve-year-old boy. He said. sir why are you showing this film to us we didn't do this this is for your generation aap sab padhe likhe log hain why did you let this happen you know so today i'll start with this thing uh, guys please mute your mics please mute this so in a world where education has become the most lucrative business there are n number of universities colleges and schools charging hefty fee to impart education to our children to our kids but there was one philosopher i, I think i should say there was there is one philosopher who said as dr tripathi said nothing can be taught yes nothing can be taught isn't this a strange statement if nothing can be taught then what is this educational business all about these are the words of great philosopher poet thinker and indian nationalist shri aurobindo he had altogether different perception of education according to him the first principle of true teaching is nothing can be taught yes nothing can be taught because the teacher is not an instructor or a taskmaster 
like the one you have might have seen in the zoo is the one who's a zookeeper having hunter in his hands and scaring the animals the innocent bezuban animals all the time so out of fear animals behave the way the zookeeper wants but humans have minds they are different they are not animals we can think so according to sri aurobindo the teacher is a helper and a guide he is just like a torch bearer to his students he just shows a path but the student has learned to walk on that path himself his business is to suggest and not to impose anything on the minds on the raw minds of children guys in many parts of the world this word teacher is no more in practice people are using the word facilitator when i say that i am a teacher i come with a certain kind of arrogance that i know this is really an arrogance and when i say i know i start imposing my ideas knowingly or unknowingly the teacher it just this is very ironical situation the teacher expect a small kid to ask for permission to go to the loo because he thinks this is business is to teach discipline to the kid now this is simple criminal because the teacher doesn't even understand realize that that small kid does not even understand the meaning of discipline he is not aware of your word he is raw he is born free there is appropriate time to teach discipline but not to the small kids we try and discipline the child because we want to control him this is really maddening this is common human tendency tendency to control others you know you see the child just realized a nature's call and that should be facilitated without any prejudices or instructions so sri aurobindo says the prime duty of the teacher is to facilitate and not impose any ideas on children when we impose our own ideas we condition the minds of the children therefore the concepts should be imparted in such a manner where children are encouraged to use their minds be logical and analytical for example i would like to few cite few examples how the mind is conditioned you might have seen wild elephants so when a wild elephant is captured and kept in a confined territory to control him the mahan the instructor ties his one of his legs to the tree with chains the giant creature tries his best uses his the best forces his mind is forced to get rid of this the trauma to break the chains he's kept there for 21 days because uh, the medical science says that 21 days is a time if you want to quit smoking drinking or any habit this is the normal period of course you need to sustain this later on but 21 days time is required to uh, bring out those negative things from your system okay so the elephant is tied to the tree for 21 days and then on 22nd days his chains are opened but can you believe that even if the chains are opened the animal is free but he doesn't make any effort to run away from that captivity because his mind is conditioned now it's written in his mind that he is a permanent slave now because he can't think logically like humans there is another example you might have seen a farmer who gets up early in the morning go to farms to cultivate his farms so he uses a bull cart 
you guys might have seen when he leaves his house he just lies down on the platform of the car and sleeps so the route from the farmer's house to the field is fed in the mind of the bull so he starts and like google map drops you right at the your destination he goes there and just stops right in the fields where the farmer would be working for some time and when the farmer finishes his work and goes back again he sleeps comfortably and now the bull leaves him right at in front of his house why because that root is fed in his mind his mind is conditioned now you try sometime you try and stop in bit in the middle of the way and make u turn trust me the bull will never be logical he'll not apply his mind because he doesn't have so he'll go back to the house because he doesn't understand what logic is the direction is fed in his mind this is a conditioning of mind and this is what we do with our children with our kid knowingly unknowingly we inject such ideas our own philosophies logical or illogical and condition their mind unlike animals humans have thinking minds so they should be trained to think critically and logically children have very raw minds they slowly learn to adjust with our world that can only be done if we respect sacredness of their raw minds you know many times we think that we are educating the kids but out of ignorance we actually disturb their minds and soul without even realizing what harm we are doing to their minds for example say is there's a small kid khelte khelte after playing for some time and he just sleep on the floor now you are disciplined you have costly beds costly bed sheets and you know very soft designer branded pillows so you try take the child to the bed so that he should have a comfortable sleep but the moment you try and pick him you disturb his sleep the child becomes cranky that is the first thing that is the first harm you do to the minds of the child you don't understand that sleep is very sacred it's very scientific it's very natural the body after playing some time the felt tired it signal to the mind to the brain that i need to rest your brain which is the greatest computer of this planet immediately acted and the child went to sleep so how is the idea of creating a bedding wherever the child sleeps so that after 3 4 hours after completing his sleep he gets fresh if you can follow this trust me the children will be happy so sleep is most sacred thing uh, it should be respected one when we don't do it we disturb their minds and souls i i tell you a story of a couple who was divorced just because of this reason so there was like a couple who were into you know courtship for 4 5 years so when they got married after few months one day the wife was narrating some story the husband was taking interest obviously he is supposed to because he doesn't have any other option so after some time the husband just felt sleepy and he went to sleep so she said she woke him up she was very angry fuming i mean when i am talking how can you sleep so they had a very heated argument he said darling it just happened i felt sleeping just beyond my control no but this is this is bad manners how can you sleep 
like i'm talking you don't value me you don't understand you don't give any importance to my verse so this argument this heated argument kept on going going and going and finally this was the root cause and from there their disputes conflicts increased and one day they decided to divorce because can you imagine this this can be reason of divorce why does it happen why this kind of things happen this happen because we don't have the right kind of education sleep is very sacred it is not in your hand your body wanted it and your brain followed the system it's simple what's wrong in it these kind of silly things shouldn't be reason of you know problems between couples and families and teachers and students but on daily basis we uh, face these kind of things we lack true meaningful education that's why we end up creating more and more problems for the children think of the times when new babies are born we celebrate the events because we are happy obviously new life is coming the babies can you know make anyone in the world smile so their faces are pies but the biggest mistakes we do while celebrating such events we put on we switch on lights we switch on music create noise we don't realize that the child was in dark for 9 months he's totally oblivious of your world he doesn't understand your sign sounds your music your lights so when you suddenly put on a lot of lights sounds you disturb his soul that is why in every part of the world the small kids have specs we kind of sides we are the reasons we don't even understand what we are doing this is your arrogance and misunderstanding ignorance of the things so you do whatever you want but you don't understand the 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 deeper needs of the child as shri aurobind says we don't even understand who's a child what is child what is education until unless we don't understand we can't inject ideas we can't teach anything we can't share anything you have to prepare minds but what we are doing we are disturbing minds just not mind we are disturbing souls this sudden onslaught can be avoided with a little bit of understanding and knowledge and this kind of knowledge comes from the philosophers guides like sri aurobindo and the mother mira alfasa and many other poets and philosophers and saints and sufis and you know when a person decide to have a child you know right at the time of planning a child education should start the very first thing if you really want to have a child who is calm whose mind and soul can be nurtured first you need to be mentally prepared your each and every cell of your body should have this conviction that we really want a child bringing a new life to this world this may be like many hundred thousands of children are taking birth every day but how many children are there who are really wanted so the quality of the children depends on the people who have a clear mind who understand that this is the greatest responsibility motherhood is the ultimate thing this is the most beautiful thing we we talk of god and goddesses we always say ke i believe in god i am a god loving but nobody has seen god so how do you claim this is just a statement you have never realized who is god where is god kya uska size hai kya color hai but if you are sensitive intelligent enough if you want to see god look at any mother she is a creator 
she is a part of god she is giving birth to a new life bringing happiness in your life you know so she is god we need such ideas can only be imparted or injected if you have passionate teachers teachers who love teaching who love kids irony of the situation is that most of the teacher we have they got this job because they had nothing else to do this is wrong this is totally wrong teachers who don't have passion to share who themselves are not trained they'll be disastrous not for the kids but for generations to come the kind of products they will train those won't be of any quality or of any use and this is happening so here comes the role of sufis saints rishis munis philosophers shri aurobindo aurobindo and mother alfasa have very elaborately explained such ideas and thoughts in one of the book i think the title is how to bring up a child shri aurobindo says the raising up a child is the most difficult thing on the planet yes this is the most difficult thing on the planet if you look at our ancient wisdom all over the world motherhood is the most sacred thing but the modern the onslaught of modern world we have different priorities so this motherhood the idea of a motherhood has taken a back seat you know so in some parts of japan if you say motherhood is considered the most sacred thing producing and raising a child is the ultimate thing in many parts of japan and this was a practice in our country also but unfortunately this is not happening so when it's not happening there is a disconnection between mother and children father may be of some important and he is but the character personality of the child depends on the mother she is the person who will decide what her child is going to be in the future according to shri robindo education is not about just injecting uh, bookish knowledge is the soul needs to be a cultured altered whatever the problem in the world today we are facing is just because we have not learned to culture souls if you look at the global ecological balances environmental problem and devastations happening around us are nothing but a result of spiritual crisis and this is where we need to intervene revival of composite culture the idea of universal brotherhood love and compassion are areas which are really needed to be addressed but how these things will make any difference if we have a fractured wounded planet to live is it possible no where drinkable water is a scarcity there are pollutions everywhere frequent floods and tsunamis are creating havoc in our lives we have to learn to interpret the ideas and philosophies of philosophers who we saints in a wider perspective now those messages are not just for the sake of saving humanity but that wisdom relates to the entire universe we have to have concerns about the entire planet we have to reconnect to the lost human consciousness we need to bring mother earth to its real shape we have to find new innovative ways to connect with the youth and children children have been born curiosity and craving to learn and that should be exploited in a creative and very innovative manners we need to inject ideas and philosophies at a primary level in a playful manner 
so that the timeless wisdom propagated by all these philosophers, like Sri Aurobindo, becomes integral part of their life. You can't inject ideas in older people. I won't say it's impossible, but it's difficult. Medically, it's proven. The children have open mind, like ocean, which is empty. So anything can be injected. Once the seeds are nurtured properly, it is beyond anybody's doubt that they will turn out to be healthiest trees filled with great wisdom, truths. They will enlighten everyone comes in their contact. This world is going through the most troubling times, but however, the huge problems may be. Philosophers like Sri Aurobindo and the mother, Mir Alfasa, can provide the solutions to every problem. Their magical words can give solace to the wounded world. While imparting this timeless wisdom shared by Shiri Aurobindo and the mother, we can create analytical and creative minds, minds which are problem solvers and not problem creators. Yes, we need problem solvers. Everyone on this planet is a teacher. You can criticize anything, individuals, family members, countries, PMs, politicians. This is not good. This is not right. But nobody talks of the solution. You're a part of the system. You're equally important. In a democratic world, you're a, one of the stakeholders. So don't always scrape and criticize. Learn to provide solutions. And solutions, problem solvers can be created when they are imparted with the right kind of education, when their minds and souls are elevated. And those can be elevated when you have uh, wisdom and philosophies to inject. So, like whatever the modern education system is, we have our own compulsions. We can't change everything, but there is a scope. There is always scope to make some kind of blending of all the modern system of education and the ancient wisdom. This is possible. <laughs> Unfortunately, the present education system is not value-based because they are like uh, we are in a commercial world where everything is evaluated with the kind of money you earn. We are in the maddening rat race and we are training our children to be in the rat race. We don't even realize even if the rat wins, he still will be a rat. This is the irony. We have not uh, taught our children to care. If I quote uh, two lines from the poetry of William Wordsworth, he says, what this life full of care, we have no time to stand and stare. And we have taught our children to love nature, to be nature loving. We just stress upon to secure good marks, to be number one always. What are we doing? Is this logical? This is maddening. This is where, again, we need to intervene. Think seriously about the issues and come with the solutions. Because we need to realize that we are creating souls tomorrow. They are going to be corrupt. They are going to be the part of this corrupt nexus where everything is for selling. You don't even know. The world around you is here to make you sick, sick and sicker every day, every moment. There is something called Bazaar and Bazaar Wat. We need market because we need to buy certain stuff for, for living. So markets are your necessity. But consumerism, what is Bazaar Wat? Do you know that there are people in the world who are injecting poison, chemicals in your food to make you sick every day. And once you're sick, once you get the diabetics, 
when you get a blood pressure and so many problems, mental, physical, spiritual, then they create medicines. And they say, take this medicine for a few times, you'll be all right. But technically, they make you sick and you are for the entire life, you'll end up taking those medicines. This is the world, commercial world around you. We have not ever care to understand and respect the ancient wisdom. So we have created a lot of problems. Look at the rivers, what we have done to our rivers, Ganga, Jamna, Saraswati. Many of them have disappeared. We call these rivers mothers. Ma Ganga, Ma Saraswati. And we do all kind of stuff, puja, ritual ceremonies, and we feel very proud that, you know, we are very religious people. I'm sorry, but I don't want to comment about this, thing, but just think what we have done to our mothers. What we have done to Ganga. Can you drink Ganga's water? It's filthy. It's dirty. The mother is crying. But we don't have senses to hear. We don't have senses to understand this world. What, is, what we're doing? Why we're destroying all the rivers and the water, which is vital to life? This is nature's engineering. Man have not created rivers. So, Ganga ke dono kinare, you know, generations came up. We had pure water of Ganga, so the cultivation, the fruit, the vegetables were pure. When vegetables <clears throat> were in plenty, the people had money. Economically, people were empowered. Children used to go to schools. But with this kind of dirty water and this kind of disaster, everything is disturbed. We want to see our children to be successful. But what is success? What is the definition of success? Is it getting huge yearly financial packages after studying and mastering educational degrees and professional courses for 20, 25 years of life? Is it a success? No. Does this type of success have any significance in the absence of happiness? What if your child is not happy? He doesn't have a good happy, fertile mind, organic mind. What is the meaning of this kind of success? We hardly teach happiness, which is the core of your essence. essence. We don't teach love and compassion. This is only, this, this, there is no such subject in the school syllabus. They don't require it because they have all together different uh, goals to achieve. And if we can't, care to inject such ideas, the relevance of our centuries old concept of Vasudeva Kutam come, universal brotherhood and communal harmony would be lost. We, we believe in universal peace. That's why we have mantras like Om Shanti, Shanti, Om Shanti, which says, may peace radiate there in the whole sky, as well as the vast eternal peace space everywhere. May peace, region all over this world, in water, and in all herbs, trees, and creepers. May peace flow over the whole universe. May peace be in the supreme being Brahma, and may there always exist in all peace and peace alone. Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Peace to us and all beings. Imagine. Thousands of years ago, our rishis, munis, imparted this message. When everything was in abundance, the water was clear, drinkable. With all the pure natural minerals, the crops were good in abundance and in quality. Then why these rishi, how these rishis and philosopher could foresee that tomorrow, when the population increases, these things uh, would may become a scarcity, may be polluted. So we need to be need to sensitize our generations and children to be 
sensitive towards these things. But are we following any kind of uh, such philosophies? Are we trying to teach this to our children? These ideas need to be the way of life as it was there centuries ago. During the last many, many years, we choose to ignore this and we all can see the result. Everything around is adulterated. Our food, vegetables, water, milk, even our thoughts and everything. This is totally contrary to the timeless wisdom imparted by great philosophers. You have money, you go to the market and buy best branded milk for your kid. But you don't even know. They might be using some chemicals, the plastic. Bahut bar hamne dekha ki sabziyan jo hamare aas pas gande naale mein dho ke hamare paas aati hain. What we have done to this world? If we don't provide good food to our kids, to our children, food is not just for your body. It is for your soul also. Your mind, your soul is affected with the quality of food you have, the quality of water you have. So when everything is adulterated around you, you just can imagine what will happen to the minds of our children. We adopted Western education system, which is good to some extent, but where is the idea of Indianness? हम बड़े फख्र से ज्यादातर लोग कहते हैं कि हमारी पांच हजार साल पुरानी सभ्यता है पर दिखती क्यों नहीं है वो कहाँ है किताबों में बातों में इट्स हाई टाइम दैट वी स्टॉप टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस थ्रेटनिंग पीपल दैट वी हैव फाइव थाउजेंड ईयर्स ओल्ड सिविलाइजेशन इफ इट इज देयर इट शुड रिफ्लेक्ट इन द माइंड थ्रू द माइंड ऑफ योर चिल्ड्रन so we totally detached from this thing what will happen to the century old indian wisdom philosophy and ideas of great masters i'll just cite one of the example uh, a poem from the west which is being taught at the primary level that says rain rain go away you all might have the read this poem heard this poem or recited a number of times during the school times rain rain go away come on this may suit to the west but for us rain is a new lease of life there are many cultural traditions related to it it relates to agriculture romance variety of food poultry we celebrate rain but with its one poem rain rain go away we detach our kids from the entire culture tradition of a country just imagine the kids who have read this poem tomorrow they may become teachers bureaucrats politicians so if they don't understand the relevance they may not be good great performers for example एक एग्जाम्पल मैं बताना चाहता हूँ वेन द रिसेशन है हार्वर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी डिड वन स्टडी टू अंडरस्टैंड कि वाई सच अ कंट्री विच इज डेवलपिंग वॉज नॉट अफेक्टेड द वे द वेस्टर्न the most developed countries were affected so the essence of the studies they said the indians have thousands and thousands of festivals the money is rotating every time there is not even a single day in our calendar when we don't have hundreds of small or big festivals एक कुम्हार द वन हु मेक यू नो पॉटरी उसके घर में भी पैसा जाए इसका भी ख्याल रखा गया है सो डेज है 
on this day you need to buy gold on this day you need to buy utensils on this day you need to buy um, things made out of you know sugar so this is like the genius of our rishis and philosophers they created the system economical system that you can't hold money for a longer time money has to rotate but on the contrary look at the countries like america or western countries they don't have any just one or two festivals so this is the power of our system which we need to understand and convey to our children that the ancient wisdom is not obsolete it's not outdated it part of your is part of your daily system and you can easily adopt these things provided the first thing as parents and teachers we enlighten ourselves we understand we should have convictions only then we can you know pass on ideas to the generation children love stories with colorful illustrations why can't we narrate them panchatantra stories which is a collection of moral tales and animal fables with one specific teaching in each of them these stories of panchatantra are considered as stories of wise conduct of life just imagine how is the idea of to have one or two periods in a week in a, in schools just to narrate these stories for the benefit of children and these stories can be narrated to kids children and adults too we know in many parts of the world in management studies stories simple stories like thirsty crows thirsty crow are being taught to the management students these stories are very scientific in nature trust me just imagine if you want to teach english or any language to the kids this is just a few hours job learning a b c d memorize it and then learning a for apple a for bahut kuch hota hai not only apple so don't condition their mind just think 5 saal tak agar aap alag alag tarike se use theater actors use actors use colorful dresses use clowns to narrate stories to the children in a play way manner trust me after 5 years they'll understand the world around them tomorrow they'll become intelligent bureaucrats politicians because these stories have great messages to deliver these stories can impact and shape up the minds of the children if we narrate these stories again and again we'll end up creating critical thinkers problem solvers and politically aware and informed society because these stories are very scientific in nature i would like to narrate a very small story from panchatantra one of my friend in us she has created she has designed one play out of it that's called chhatri ki karamat so this is a very simple story uh one day one family went to some forest for a picnic and while going back they forget the umbrella there the bear came and he was scared to see this strange thing but after some time they picked it and he opened it but he didn't understand what it is then suddenly rain happened and he 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 realized that he can escape himself from the rain he can protect himself from the rain no having this magical thing in hand he created a lobby in the jungle went person to person and told them ke look i have magical powers so you should support me i have whenever the rain happens i can protect myself does the lion have this power does he have any instrument like that and if he doesn't have what right does he have to be a king of the forest so support me and now onwards election will happen or with the consensus i should be the king so everybody said yeah this is something really magical <laughs> so everybody supported him and he became the king and lion had to you know leave his he changed the laws of the jungle and this uh, this bhalu this bear became corrupt because the power corrupts you and the absolute power corrupts you absolutely and this like 
So he started exploiting people for his personal benefit. He'll hold meetings only when there is a rain. Everybody is like in the rain and, you know, shivering. But this gentleman, this Bhalu is having chata and protecting himself. People said, sir, you can have meeting on the other day when there is no rain. He said, this is my choice. No, I'm a king. So he started exploiting and everybody was like sad, pain. What to do? Now he's a king. We have to follow. And one day there was heavy rain and the monkey was assigned one duty to take care of certain things. But he was like suffering for fever, heavy fever, maybe during the Corona call period. I'm just kidding. So that Bandar, he requested, my dear king, forgive me today because I am sick. I'm suffering. Allow me to perform this duty the next day. The Bhalu said, no, order is order. It has to be, it has to be followed. The monkey was like, he didn't have any choice. So what he did in the middle of the night, he ran away from the jungle. And the entire night he was like jumping from one tree to another, the, the way monkeys do. And early in the morning, he entered into a city, a city like Mumbai, maybe. And he, there was heavy rain in the Mumbai. And he was surprised to see that everybody had some kind of black, yellow chata in his hands. Everybody has that umbrella in his hand. And he was surprised that this is such a common thing. And this Balu was like making fool of us. He immediately went back to the forest. And now, again, he became a politician. He went to the loin and said, Ke, my dear old king, I want to tell you something. I have a secret to share with you, which can, you know, give this power back to you. But I have one condition. So he, uh, he said, I went to the city because he was exploiting me and I saw everyone there had this chata. This is such a common thing. This is not at all magical. So he made fool of us. I'll go and convince each and everyone in this forest to come back to you and you will be king again. But I have a condition. You'll spare me. So fair enough. If I get my power back, I don't. So he went, the monkey went to each and every animal in the forest and convinced them that this is making fool of us. So we should not follow him. He cannot be the king. Only loin can be the king of the forest. So people were convinced slowly, 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 and they organized one meeting. Okay, okay whatever you're saying, Mr. Monkey. Let's go and see practically if you your your whatever you're saying is correct and true. We'll then and they decide it, have voting or whatever. We'll throw him out and we'll make loin the king. So fair enough. After 15 days, a meeting was happened. And the Bhalu came, but now his chata, his umbrella was torn from places. So suddenly rain happened and he couldn't protect himself. Everyone realized that this is like nothing. There's no magic. So the king, Loin, got his power back. This is the power of Panchatantra stories, which can, which can, you know, make children to think critically, to open up their mind, to use their brain. With this kind of stories, we won't create just followers. We will create thinkers who can question the things around them, the people at the helm of the power. How many times do we question whatever is happening, the government is doing? We are following it. We don't raise our voices because we have not trained our kids, our children to question things around them. And if you don't have a questioning, Mind, society, we are gone. We will just be follower. We will just create a generation of pizza deliverers. So after having this kind of this thing, I'll just say okay, we 
you know, put, make so many do's and don'ts from the children, we should try and avoid because they have basic curiosity to learn and experiment with things. Uh, just look at the uh, newborn baby or baby of six or five months. Whatever comes to his way, he picks it, licks it, try to eat it, then throws it out. This is nature's way of teaching him. The first thing when he licks, he wants to understand, is this something eatable? If it is not eatable, is it breakable? If he can't break it with his hands, he'll throw it away. Your duty is to facilitate with the toys which are organic in nature, avoid chemicals oriented toys, but don't try and condition the mind of the child saying, baby, don't throw things, don't do that. This is not good, this is not fair. He doesn't understand your language, come on. The time will come, you'll be able to inject these ideas in the later stages. What happens when we put a lot of do's and don'ts on children? What happens? We unknowingly kill their creativity and put a stoppage to the process of their natural learning. Huh. Like, I'll tell you one example. Many times you might have seen in your houses that child takes a pencil, pen and keeps making some lines, writing something, whatever comes to mind on the wall. Now, we as a disciplined people, we have spent so much money on Asian paints or whatever decorations. So we don't like it. We are disciplined people again. We say, no, beta, this is a bad thing. Mama doesn't like this. Don't do this. When you say don't do this, you are technically putting a full stop to a creative genius tomorrow, he may be a painter, an artist, drama artist, thinker, or whatever. Because the lines he's drawing are coming from his mind, from his brain. When a painter paints something, the image is already embedded in his mind, in his brain. So hand is just a tool to draw those lines. Hand in isolation cannot draw anything. Just think of the person whose hands are paralytic. So when the hand is paralytic, he has lost, this hand has lost connection with the brain, with the mind. So hand cannot walk. So the idea, the image is in the mind and that's natural because at that point of time, child doesn't understand, doesn't know the art of conversation. He doesn't have proper words to tell you what he wants. But this is what he's doing. This is his mind. You need to learn to read that. Now, uh, of course, uh, gandhi karna bhi achhi baat nahi hai. so isme kya kya ja sakta hai? what can be done? How is the idea of sparing one wall for specially dedicated to your children? Give them pencil colors and tell this is your wall. Do whatever you want. Even after doing something you want to erase it, this is a duster. You can use this, put it here. So this way, automatically, you're injecting so many things simultaneously. You'll be injecting a sense of ownership. The child will feel happy and proud that this wall belongs to me. Whosoever comes to meet you in the house before exchanging any kind of pleasantries, the child will say, uncle, this wall belongs to me. Come and see. Look at the excitement. You have injected the idea of creativity in his mind, a sense of ownership. When you have allowed him to be creative, you sent a message that you care for him. He'll understand that my parents are my hero. They understand my word. But if you put full stop to this thing, you can imagine what will happen. Then we say that we have a disobedient society, that we have people who don't listen to us. 
In any case, today we have a variety of paints which are washable. You can use that, but be creative, innovative, and allow your children to be creative. For initial two years, I think personally, the child is totally connected to the to the God, to the nature. बहुत ही अच्छा एक शेर निदा फाजली उर्दू के बहुत ही उम्दा शायर हुए हैं उनका एक शेर है बच्चों के छोटे हाथों को चांद सितारे छूने दो बच्चों के छोटे हाथों को चांद सितारे छूने दो चार किताबें पढ़ करके ये भी हम जैसे हो जाएंगे लेट द स्मॉल हैंड्स ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन टच द स्टार्स इन द मून आफ्टर रीडिंग फ्यू बुक्स दिल बिकम लाइक अस सो फ्रेंड टूडे विल also talk about mind and we'll try and listen uh, find answer for many questions which we face on daily lives like are a children happy why do they fall sick so frequently why are they emotionally dishonest with our children there are many such questions we face in our daily life the answer to all such questions lies with your mind now let's understand most of the people may agree with me that most of a generation is not happy if you look into their eyes if you talk to them you can make out that they are full of anxieties tensions and they are unhappy but why the very first thing which i understand the most of the children are deprived of their sleep proper sleep imagine the month of december we adults we are so many clothes to protect ourselves but we want our girls children to wear skirts and get up early in the morning 6:30 and go to school at 7:30 and if you are late you'll be marked absent or like whatever as per the medical studies many studies are evident of the fact that there's a prescribed time of sleeping for different age groups and children are supposed to sleep at least for 8 to 10 hours so when they don't get their proper sleep there is a sleep deficit which keep on piling 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 we don't even understand as a parent why our children suddenly become irrational why they suddenly become sad unhappy this is because of this sleep deficit this creates a lot of problem mental physical spiritual okay their souls are disturbed they become obese they have they are full of anxieties since they don't understand what is happening even parents don't understand teachers are not understanding what is happening with them so they keep on suffering silently now imagine the generation who is suffering with this kind of disorders can they be happy can they be great learners can you inject ideas easily to inject ideas you need relax minds the minds who are at peace if you look around the world most of the inventions were made when people were relaxing when you put your mind to stress when your mind is stressed you can't think logically just imagine that suddenly some person comes across and you say okay, i know this person here i have met him i have you know but what's his name i am unable to remember no because suddenly you put pressure on your mind and your mind is not able to pick that file where this gentleman's name is written you shake hand with him talk to him for 2 minutes the moment he gets oh he's rakesh why because now your mind is relaxed suddenly the file comes to your mind and oh but when you are stressed you can't be logical so the very first thing we need to teach our children to be to have relaxed minds 
Only then we can share knowledge. I would like to cite one example, very interesting example. In some dynasty many, many years ago, there was a king who wanted to build a very huge gate outside his kingdom. And he said, whosoever create a beautiful gate, he'll be like bombarded with a lot of gifts and money, whatever he wants. So many people came, tried, designed something. There were three clowns appointed by the king. People will create good things. The creator will ask one by one to them, how is this gate? Yeah, okay, but the king may or may not like it. This is how they reject hundreds of people. So there was one very art, there was one artist who was like very creative and, and somebody told the king that he is an artist, but he is like very fussy. He doesn't care about your kingship and money and everything. He just like, if he wants, if you can convince him, he'll do it. Otherwise, like he said, okay, send your he sent a messenger and requested okay, king is just requesting you. He's not ordering. He's just wanting if you can create something. Said, okay, no problem. He went there with all colors, pencil and everything and chart papers and just sat on one of the hill and start painting things. So whatever he makes, he'll ask these clowns one by one. How is it? Uh, it's level. No, you know, you can do best one hour two hour three hour five hours a week passed on and they rejected each and everything every drawing what he made so the day come when he all his pencils colors were finished and he wanted all these colors so he called three of them and also requested them to go and bring these things from the market, pencil, color, chart papers. And all of them ran away. Okay, okay, okay. Because the deadline was approaching. After 10 days, he had to show something to the king. So all went away for three, four hours. And now his mind was relaxed. He took a chart paper and charcoal from there and started designing something or the other. And after two hours, he created drawings and these three clowns came and saw it and was zapped. Oh my God, what a design. How could you make this? This is so beautiful. The king will go mad. What was the problem? He said, you clowns were the problem. You were rejecting anything without having any knowledge of because you were appointed there to evaluate me and you used your power, you misuse your power. So when you went away, I was totally relaxed. I was into myself and my creative expression came and I did there. Now I don't need colors. Go and give this painting to the king made with the charcoal leftovers. The king saw it and said, Fine, what do you want? He said, nothing. So this is how the relaxed mind can perform. But when we don't teach our kids to be relaxed, we frustrate them. How this can be done? With a little bit of oh, once or twice a day, a breathing, deep breathing exercises, you can inject. This is scientific. All of the world people are talking about this ancient wisdom. You can inject a little bit of yoga. You can even uh, ask them to do Om chanting. You know, in many parts of the world, in India also, there are n number of studies which say that five minutes of Om chanting can put your mind at the zero level. And these are like, we have scientific evidences now, like if the person is depressed or have some kind of anxiety, we use thermal cameras. With thermal cameras, we can scan their brains. The gray areas where anxiety and tension is, those areas are marked as red. So then the medical experts put some kind of scanners on your brain and ask you to just do some breathing exercise and ohm chanting for five, 10 minutes. And suddenly you can see on the screen those red areas turning 
green, green, green. The person is being calmer, calmer, and calmer. So, is it a rocket science? The blending of ancient wisdom and the modern with the modern education is like very easy. But you have to tell, you have to show films, documentaries, make them understand, make the children understand that this is walkable, this is fun. Look at, just see what happens to your brain. You have to be innovative, do everything in a play way manner. You can only inject ideas when you go into their world, use their milieu. You know, teaching children is the most difficult thing. What are the biggest crime we do that we try to teach and solve their problem as adults? No. If you want to have communication with the child, be a child first. Retain that child within you. It is always there. It will only die with you. So don't become so mature that you, uh, you, you, you stop laughing, you stop being, having fun. Children love fun. So you can only share knowledge, ideas when you do everything in a play way manner. Uh, when we put a lot of pressure, there are already so many pressure of uh, performance, getting good marks. They're always, children always judged. So you have fixed perception and notions and we pass on all these negativity to our child. So I'll cite a story, a uh, boy from Southern part of India, very intelligent, intelligent or what I don't know, but he used to secure very good marks. So one day his father said, okay, you have achieved 98% of marks. So next time you should be close to hundred because you can do it. The child said, okay, I'll do it. He tried his, his best. But unfortunately, again, he got 98%. You know, directly or indirectly, the father's pressure was so much that the child went into depression. And depression to the extent that he didn't come out of the, his room for six months just because that he couldn't couldn't secure good marks as per the wishes of his father. He had to be taken to the psychiatrist and take medicines for years time. Can you imagine? This is what we are doing with our children. If you look at around you, how many people you can identify who got 99.9% and they are successful. Can you identify such people? Is there any mechanism? Most of the greatest philosophers, thinkers, scientists, many of them were school dropouts. Not even normal human beings. So, what matters? What matters is that how you relax them how you learn not to push their minds towards this tunnel, which is full of anxiety, tension. When we do this, we make them sick, sick and sicker without even understanding all this. Why this system came into practice, if the parents understand, if the teacher understand and share this with the children, we may to some extent, uh, if not 100%, but we can solve this problem. This percentage fund uh, came into existence because we have limited seats in universities and colleges. But the government or whatever, we didn't want to say that there is a, uh, demand and supply issue. There are 10,000 people who want to understand, who want to study psychology, but there are only seats are only limited, say 30, 40, 1,200. So what will happen to the rest of the 9,000 people? 
who have passion to understand psychology, mathematics, or whatever. So forcibly, they will have to change streams. Streams, jahan pe unka man nahi hai. So just imagine the generation who studies the subject which don't, doesn't belong to them. What kind of product he'll be in the coming times? So just because uh, we didn't want to uh, tell people that we have this demand and supply issue, we had limited seeds, so we created this uh, phenomena which is not dangerous, which is like destroying the minds of our children. So again, we are like, this is not at all a sign of intelligence, the person who gets the highest mark. No, there's, there's no such yardstick to say. There are people who secure very less mark, but they're thinkers. They, 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 they question everything around them. They are logical, they are analytical, and we need such people. There are many other reasons for the unhappiness of the children. I am not generalizing that all of them are, but I am just saying that this is the problem we need to identify. The impact of blue screen, social media. You know, this blue screen, uh, what parents, most of the parents do when the children, they ask for something, you give them blue screen, tablets, mobiles, without realizing the fact that many studies are, uh, have like trying to prove this, that uh, this can be the reason of early puberty in girls. This can give a lot of anxiety. Children can be obese because there's less body exercise, they can be diabetic. There are many, uh, many such lifestyle disorders. So this blue screen, we need to, uh, we need to talk about in, at, in homes, in schools, at primary levels. Of course, you cannot totally avoid this because you are in a technological world and technology has made your life easier. You can't deny this fact, but what we need to do, we need to learn to do some kind of balancing and balancing can only be done when the parents and teachers are empowered and equipped with this kind of knowledge. So uh, this is the subject where we surely need to intervene. We need to understand what the social media is. We need to, you know, uh, in India, most of the people, they don't like to talk about few things. Like if I say, Ke yaar, earthquake ka jayega to, people say, shub shub bolo. You know, we have to come out of it. Emergencies don't give any kind of indication or invitation when they come. Right? So we need to talk about all these things in schools in colleges and in homes. So once we train our children to think about these things, to talk about the same, so they'll end up by preparing themselves. Say, for example, earthquake. Most of the people will run out of their houses without realizing the fact, but where will you go? Your lifts, may stop working during that time. When you suddenly try and run out of your house, you may fall because your mind is not prepared. Your mind is not uh, uh, conditioned to take that path smoothly. So suddenly you may fall on the stairs and hurt yourself. Somebody even can may die. But if you are taught properly that earthquakes are natural, they can occur any times. How to prepare ourselves? What to do? You have concrete buildings made of concrete. So they those may not fall, but this is the way. So this is also education. Like, like kisi ghar mein aag lag jati hai, there's some house on fire. So you call take a call mobile and call the people and if you are not clear and audible and you are panicked sir hamare ghar mein aag lag gayi hai yahan aaiye jaldi aaiye yahan mar jayenge ye ho jayega ho jayega the other person 
who might be relaxing, taking a cup of tea. His mind was not prepared to listen to this kind of crap. So, and you put the phone down. So he'll be confused where to go. This is where relaxation matters. What are the crises? The thinkers, philosophers, and trained minds learn to work in a relaxed manner, whatever the crisis may be. How is the idea of saying, Ki, Sir, Mayur Vihar phase one, so and so apartment me aag lag gai hai. Sir, gate number che band hota hai, aap paanch se aayega, char ye ki jayega. Sir, make it, when you tell everything clearly, because the other person might be writing this down. He doesn't have any software and think that everything is like automatically transferred to him. You need to guide him properly. It may take 10, 30 seconds, but the communication would be effective. Right? So this is the way uh, we need to uh, inject ideas in the minds of our children. I'll, can I have a guys just sip of water, please? Bear with me. Now let's say okay, why the marriages are failing again, because like uh, if you want to uh, send someone to the army, you give him nine months training, right? Because he need to learn the weaponry, the system, the discipline, you know, it's understand the, what, who the enemy is. But when, when it comes to marriage, the Many system, I won't say it's obsolete, but it was created thousands, hundreds of years ago. We have a different kind of societal setup in those times. So the system was created as per requirements of those times. But today we are in a different world. So the system may not work, but, yeah. but it's still following the old ways we are talking about sattvas we are talking about marriages are made in heaven but this generation the the modern generation they are not able to relate with what is made in heavens this is just a, a phrase but practically scientifically it has no logic it has no uh, relevance for the modern society that is why if you look at uh, the data shows that most of the youngsters Many of them, they don't believe in this marriage system. They don't want to get married because the kind of experience they have seen around them. So they formed a different kind of opinion because we as a teachers, as a society have not uh, shared this uh, ideas properly with the children. So when we are not trained, like a uh, Fauji, like army men, you send a person into the marriage institution, Jo war, Iqbar shuru hoti hai, zindagi bar chalti I'm not saying this is again generalized. There are many people, millions of people on this planet who are happy, but they are equally, equal number of people who are not happy in the marriages line. Why this is happening? Because it's a high time we stop talking about the so-called sacredness, we should understand this is a kind of contract between two people. You need to understand each other's need. When we are in courtship period, you say, Ke, aap chai peenge, coffee peenge. I say, Janu, aap ke liye kuch bhi. I'll take coffee, no problem. In the bottom of your heart, you know this is not sustainable because your habitual of taking tea from the last 25 years, 10 years, 15 years, why do you need to lie? Why can't you make your own choice and say, no, I like coffee, you have tea. What is the wrong about it? Why do you unnecessarily sacrifice anything for the other person, which is not sustainable? So the moment you are married, all these things fade away immediately. And you start fighting. One of my friend's daughter, she is studying psychology. She is a very intelligent girl. One day she said, okay, uncle, we need to redefine them. I said, how? 
अगर हम ऐसा का कुछ एविडेंस uh, को स्टडीज लें वेर वी कैन ट्राई एंड मेक आउट की वाई ऑल दिस कॉन्फ्लिक्स एंड डिस्प्यूट हैपन बिटवीन कपल्स वॉट आर द रीजन सो लेट्स जॉट ऑन फाइव टू टेन नंबर नंबर वन इकोनॉमिक्स इज वन ऑफ द प्रोमिन फैक्टर जहां से झगड़े शुरू होते हैं सो so, सात फिरों को सात अलग तरीके से करें लाइक देर इज वन एग्जाम्पल इन चंडीगढ़ रिसेंटली वन ईयर गो वन कपल गॉट मैरिड बोथ द पेरेंट्स वर लाइक फिल दी रिच दे वॉन्टेड टू हैव ह्यूज सेलिब्रेशन बट दीज गाइज वर लाइक क्वाइट डिफरेंट इन नेचर दे सेट वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू कॉल हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड पीपल एंड स्पेंड दिस मच ऑफ मनी वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू गिव अस इन कैश सो लेट अस डिसाइड वॉट टू डू and how to use this money this is a wonderful idea so she said ki why do we, we don't revise and redefine all this uh, saath feras considering the modern requirements i found it very interesting if you create a kind of marriage manual and tell them ki look there are ways to deal with the situation one is you understand the second is you just react say for example you tell your son or daughter to be at home right at 7 pm in the evening come what may whatever important work you have i want you to be here and your daughter or son obeys this rule follow this properly but once in a month suddenly she didn't come at 7 pm she was late her phone was switched off the mother parent everybody was panic she was not responding phone was out of reach so she and comes back to home say around 10:30 so everybody was fuming now here your intelligent way of dealing with the situation make lot of difference the first way is scold the child you know you are like that i knew it you followed it for a few days just to make us fool but now suddenly you went with the friends because i know your friend no i know your circle so this is one way you didn't even realize that the other person might have gone through some problem somebody might have snatched her mobile she might have met with some accident some other the problem could have happened it happens with everyone the person is already in trauma what you did with your reaction you added to her trauma you increased her problem when you have done this do you think you can have good relationship with such children they'll stop trusting you they'll disconnect with you come what may whatever problem they face in life they say these two people are not worth talking because simply they don't understand you how can we create a healthy society there is a other way like again she comes at 10:30 you ask her to sit cool give her cold water give her little few minutes and then ask politely kavita amita rihana whatever you are not like that i know you follow the rule everything but something wrong must might have happened with you but you are not like that is it everything okay with you okay i'll make a cup of tea for you because you seem little disturbed just don't worry i'll be here with you things happen this world is like that i know being a girl you have to face a lot of things the problems they oh but take it easy this is okay if you want you can share with me right now and if you need time don't worry and even if you don't feel like sharing please be with yourself but be happy we are unconditionally there for you my daughter now imagine what kind of relation you'll have with your children they will share each and every problem with you 
कम वॉट में इवन इफ कोई किसी का मर्डर भी करके आता है गिव नम दिस काइंड ऑफ स्पेस एंड ट्रस्ट दैट द फर्स्ट कन्फेशन विद शुड बी विद यू यू कैन ओनली डू दैट एज अ पेरेंट्स दिस इज द ओनली वे वेयर वी कैन एंड दिस सो कॉल्ड जेनरेशन गैप जिसे हम कहते हैं टॉकिंग बर्ड this generation doesn't listen they are like disobedient they are like mindless we don't understand their world this is wrong way har generation aise hi baat karti hai but koi isko balance karne ki baat nahi hum karte hain it is not at all rocket science again i'm saying it's just just having understand things in a different manner that's it so again communication is the key aap kaise apne bachcho se students se baat karte hain that makes all the difference technically uh, uh, because out of our ignorance we have created a emotionally dishonest society why what do you, what do i mean by saying emotionally dishonest a person boy or girl who is sad who is full of anxieties he doesn't like to talk to his parents there is totally disconnect a lot of mental pressures to prove himself or herself all the time he sad he might be needing help of a counselor or a psychiatrist but you ask him are you happy yes uncle i'm happy you know we have not taught this to our children to be to accept things this is the first step to uh, get cured for anything the identification acceptance of anything when you are sad say i'm sad we teach our children especially boys ke mard nahi rota hai boys rote nahi hain why like we smile we dance this is expression this is a part of body आपके अंदर कुछ इमोशन होते हैं अंदर केमिकल फॉर्मेशन होती है आंखों से बाहर आते हैं आना ही चाहिए अदरवाइज यू विल फॉल सेक इफ यू कीप कलेक्टिंग दोस दैट गार्बेज इनसाइड यू दैट डेडी वॉटर इनसाइड यू बिकॉज समबडी एज टोल्ड यू मर्द रोते नहीं हैं सो वट विलपन दिस नो हार्म दिस इज मेडिकली करेक्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्राई क्राई बच्चे छोटे छोटे रोते हैं तो उनका सिस्टम सर्विसिंग ऑटोमेटिकली हो जाती है अगर मैं देसी भाषा में कहूं सो वट वी हैव बीन टीचिंग टू आर किड्स हम 20 साल के बाद पढ़ाने के बाद कॉन्वेंट में इंग्लिश मीडियम में वी से यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड यू शुड रिस्पेक्ट योर वैल्यू सिस्टम यू नो इंडिया इज दिस इंडिया इज दैट बट जस्ट आस्क योर सेल्फ वेन हैव यू शेयर दिस काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज विद दैम फॉर ट्वेंटी ईयर्स you send them to english mediums i am not against this thing you send to them to a different kind of education which is uh, required only for creating successful people where mind values culture system has no value where bonding relationship has no value you have never talked about this thing and suddenly after 20 years you say you should know that india is a great country you should know your culture know your values we yeah, have never talked about it so again here we need to intervene and start talking about all these things now let's after this kind of let's understand a little technical of what is mind can it this be cultivated for a purposeful living for meaningful life we'll explore simple methods Uh, how to connect with children nurture their minds and create happiness and lead the purposeful life children are great learner they are great teacher they teach you every moment so be ready not just to uh, inject ideas but learn many thing from them they are creative and tactful they are full of fantasies adventures and hallucinations there is a big deep ocean in their minds but it is empty so you have you can fill it with any thoughts ideas and philosophies you want many studies are evident of the fact that not much can be written or injected in the mind of older people because their minds are already filled with lots and lots of information 
although exceptions are there few people learn at the age of 70 80 exceptions are there but otherwise you can't write much they have formed opinion perception of everything and they are not easily changeable alterable all else all people have fixed perception for everything so those opinions are like very rigid there is hardly any room for change to adapt to new thoughts and idea but this is not the case with children mind is just a abstract thing and like brain we can see touch it scan it no one knows in which part part of the body it is situated it is just a concept let's understand assume that this is a consciousness okay mind is a some part of the brain that thinks remember things store your thoughts and ideas feeling and this is nothing else mind is just an abstract thing so the scientists say we have three kinds of minds conscious mind subconscious mind and unconscious mind what is conscious mind i'm talking to you i'm talking about mind different sharing different ideas i'm conscious about the diction of the choice of words i want to share with you i'm conscious about the camera about my laptop of this water bottle because i'm conscious about everything so can i have a sip guys thank you subconscious mind is the greatest thing in our brain when your conscious mind goes to sleep when you go to bed your subconscious mind works for 24 hours so it becomes more active so whatever the unfulfilled desires ideas thoughts and problems we have in our subconscious mind those come up those files suddenly come up subconscious mind basically gives you signal ke okay, gentleman these are the problem which are pending for a longer time can we find some solution for them when we don't do we see dreams things whatever fantasies ideas philosophies problems we have stored knowingly or unknowingly in our mind those come up and we see dreams sigmund freud uh, is a great uh, psychologist he has written huge books about why do we see dreams and everything that's very technical but whatever dreams we see we see because we have some stored information in our subconscious mind uh, our mind uh, is the biggest computer as i say it's very technical like for example you want to get rid of some problem you have to close the file mind says your brain says that 3 months ago you had some fight with the person and you consciously humiliated insulted that man but you have some kind of guilt left in your mind that i did something wrong i should apologize in front of say i should extend unconditional apology gentlemen i did something wrong it was not required it's not me at all but you don't do it because you have certain kind of arrogance who is who the hell he is why should i say sorry to him so again you are not technically uh uh educated you have certain kind of arrogance you don't want to shed that so you don't say sorry but guilt is there we have angel and devil in our minds in our body in the system we just listen to angels goody goody things ye karna wo karna parents ne kaha teacher ne kaha ye nahi dekhna wo nahi dekhna hai na mohalle ki har ladki jo hai wo behan hai we we teach this thing but you like beauty you like flowers like any other thing you like human faces what's wrong in admiring them liking them appreciating them this is sense of appreciation so when you don't say sorry that file again and again comes to your mind and you see in dreams that somewhere you met that person in the restaurant and he slapped you because there is a guilt in your mind the moment one morning decide tomorrow early in the morning make a call to him and say so and so whatever rakesh i did wrong to you yaar mujhe ho gaya i am not like that please excuse me maaf kar de yaar mujhe yaar tera dost ho na yaar kal chai peete hain tu mujhe maar liyo yaar kuch bhi keh de mujhe tu bhi to keh sakta hai dost hai na yaar you say nothing is okay yaar main bhool gaya hu chal kal chai peete hain trust me experiment this thing you will not see that dream again 
बिकॉज दैट फाइल इज क्लोज केस खत्म अब सौ थे एक चला गया नाइनटी नाइन बचे उनका भी सोल्यूशन निकालेंगे दिस इज द पार ऑफ सब कॉन्शियस माइंड वट एवर वी डू वट एवर थिंक जो भी हमारे आइडियाज वो हमारे यहां पे हैं अनकॉन्शियस माइंड इज अ माइंड वेन से किसी का ऑपरेशन होना है एंड यू द पर्सन हैज बिन गिवन एन एस्थीसिया फॉर हाफ एन आवर समथिंग बिकॉज सम काइंड ऑफ सर्जरी मेडिकल प्रोसीजर हैज टू बी फॉलोड और डन I am not very sure, but most of the study says that that particular time, say half an hour, two hours, we don't have any kind of consciousness. We can't recall what happened at that particular time, say half an hour. Like for example, I'm sitting here after three hours, I'll be remembering everything, if not hundred percent to some extent, what I shared with you. When I'm sleeping, seeing dream. If not hundred percent, I can remember certain things. I saw a dream. I was in London. I was sharing some knowledge with the people. I was dancing. But at that point of time, when your body is given anesthesia, we don't recall. We don't usually remember anything. People are trying hard. Scientists are trying hard to understand. Okay, why does does this happen? Where does our consciousness, which is like continuous process, Where does it go? This is unconscious mind. Okay, so uh, this is mind, and uh, this is how we can train when we understand what is conscious, subconscious mind. Uh, the people who are trained, who who believe in some kind of meditation, yogic something, they are able to make blending between conscious and subconscious mind so when you have this kind of blending you can do anything you want you can train your mind so it all depends on you if you keep on collecting garbage read newspaper television news internet blah blah blah, blah. keep collecting garbage in our mind <coughs> and when we have so much of a garbage in our mind we start thinking like the way you put uh, your garbage in the kitchen for a few days and don't throw it out the entire house starts smelling bad okay so this is what happens with our mind now as aurobindo say who is what is child as per hindu philosophy the soul never takes birth it never dies it just take a new form in a new body Ready to be formed and shaped again in a new avatar. While explaining the meaning of true education, Sri Aurobindo says, the great philosopher poet says, in education the child was not regarded. In education the child was regarded not as a soul meant to grow. I repeat, in education the child was regarded not as a soul meant to grow, but as a brute. Psychological stuff to be shaped into a fixed mold by the teacher. Now this statement is is has great meaning because the entire commercial world around you, the commerce commerce around you, the corrupt nexus around you, want to train the generation of followers and not thinkers. not the generation who ask questions you want delivery boys you want people to fall in line you don't want no government no corporate wants thinking minds who can question okay mr gentleman this is wrong this should be done this way there's no room for such kind of generation so this is what uh, sri aurobindo has has stressed upon that we need to cultivate we need to culture souls if you have cultured elevated enlightened soul you'll end up creating a generation of problem solvers and not problem creators they will enlighten the world around them the families the people whatever they they do they'll do it constructively with a different approach with the innovative innovation and creativity they'll design buildings those are not just meant to uh, 
सिर्फ रहने के लिए नहीं है देर हैज टू बी सम डिजाइन एंड ब्यूटी इन इट सी वेन दिस काइंड ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड क्रिएटिविटी इज मिसिंग सो लुक एट द एसोसिएशन लुक एट द एजेंसीज हु मेक हाउसेज फॉर आस गंदा सा पेंट you know nothing looks beautiful so you don't feel like that you're in a home home should is a place where you should have comfort where you should you like the walls the paint the design and everything so when you have these kind of trained people they will create everything with the mind the child should be helped to find his true nature and capacity capacities he needs help discovering the self he needs to understand who is he this is the greatest question most of the saints most of the people have been asking to who we are so sri aurobindo stresses on the fact that education is about telling the person to understand who you are like if i can cite example of rama and krishna uh, they went to guru dronacharya uh, to get some education so they knocked at the door Uh, and guru dronacharya said who is there who are you both of the these small children said this is what we wanted to know guru ji this is why we have come here to understand who we are dronacharya said come in come in come in because where do you get this kind of students who are sensible aware enough to understand what we want to learn if the teacher is lucky enough to have such students who are aware of the fact what do they want to learn the communication will become easier the bridge will automatically be there but if you don't know this you again end up creating so many problems there has to be bridge our human mind is ultimate computer if i talk in technical languages Rajesh bhaiya uh, sorry to interrupt you sir and, uh, we can have a little bit discussion because so many people okay so should i cut it short uh, yeah yeah okay yeah. fine no problem so our mind is the biggest computer it need to be trained the way we use wifi and uh, bluetooth to transfer data same way if two souls are enlightened and there is something called akashic records whatever the saints and philosophers say that is there in the sky that can be accessed if your soul is elevated this is where sri aurobindo has stressed upon so in the end i would like to uh, share some basic take homes where we can think where we uh, uh, we the things we should keep in mind while dealing with the children the very first thing which i think just give me a second to go to the last slide like uh i suggest when you go to the classroom to teach children uh, uh there is a particular aura of the person personality in the class when somebody teaches mathematics and suddenly the teacher of english enters in the class and start you know teaching the kids i think this is a wrong way because his aura will remain there for some time how's the idea of starting a new class with a great laughter just 30 second ask the children to laugh loudly or do some kind of breathing for 2 to 3 minutes so they get out of that uh, aura of the other person of the the earlier teacher and they are prepared to receive so this kind of uh, things can be like uh, injected never scold or punish children because all over the world study say that these kind of punishment don't work uh, if uh, the, even the life sentence could you know Uh, reduce or stop the kind of crimes we have in this world so making the person realize what the mother alfasa has uh, stressed upon in many places we need to make the people realize of their mistakes and not punish them right sir so the take home is that don't scold your children be uh, have a communication with them don't punish them because punishing <coughs> doesn't solve any problem one of my friends she has a dog and she is working she is all alone the dog stays uh, alone in the house 
when she comes back he spills something here and there and she punishes him by locking him in the balcony uh, realizing that uh, the dog will learn something they have very short memory they don't understand anything like that like humans do so punishing a dog and punishing human is not the idea sharing and making the person realize as the ultimate this thing uh, that should be taken care of so with this i i think i should like put a full stop to my uh, this discussion further there are so many things to share i can keep uh, but as dr tripathi saying we have time so for 5 6 10 minutes if anybody has any kind of question i would like to uh, answer it and thank you very much for listening i didn't know i mean i was going on and on because there's so much to share so i'm sorry to have you here for no no time. no it's not at all uh, thank you so much rajesh bhaiya main jab aap se sun raha tha to mere mann mein ek baat aa raha tha ki wo bachpan bhi kya bachpan tha khelte khelte hum chhat mein sote the ya zameen mein lekin aankhein hamare bistaron pe khulti thi ha ah, ha kya baat someone has written like that so it was uh, a matter of great pleasure for me to listen to you and since uh, you are an artist the way you expressed your ideas referring to the scriptures the traditions the stories even the modern challenges you have covered so many things i just want to um, add something here the study of the human life has been a great subject to starting from the vedic period when our rishi says that the five seeds like annamay pranamay manamay vigyanamay and the anandamay kosh the manamay is the mind seed so if we refer to our tradition we find as you rightly mention our sages and the seers they have rightly studied the evolution of human consciousness which grows to different levels they have studied this human life it's not a simple span of 5 of 30 years 40 or 60 years of 100 years it involves many experiences so they have studied and maintained in the different scriptures and uh, through your lecture you have given an insight like mind the way to create analytical generations this is one of the most scientific topics and areas where discussions can be made and very significantly you brought brought out this idea referring to the scriptures <laughs> the modern challenges also how the children are facing uh, this is really one of the unique things and uh, when we talk about the consciousness studies as per the indian traditions it is basically four that is jagrat swapna susupti and turiya this consciousness unconsciousness subconscious and super consciousness even if you refer to the vedanta studies they have specifically studied the human mind and its stuffs and they have given the scientific clues how we can overcome in this uh, this is really one of the important lectures which uh, i have ever heard so i think it's very useful and i welcome there are so many participants who are listening from you and some of them are the children's writer i i Uh, identify professor vijay shankar shukla ji from ignca dr ram mohan singh from university of pondicherry the jugal kishor sarangi and birendra mahanti ji they are the odia writers they they are basically the children writers so i request all of them to kindly we can have an interactive session any views most welcome please namaste namaste uh, rajesh ji so i would like to go oh, i have noted down few questions while first of all i am very much thankful to kishor ji and uh, rajesh ji for having this session and uh, so we were talking about uh, oh, yeah. sorry uh, yeah yeah please please continue yeah, please continue yeah so i have this question like um although corporal punishment today it's been subsided and it's not uh, uh, a thing of the day but it used to be so i remember i mean i myself have gone through corporal punishment in my school and i remember there was a time um, 
I was calling the school as a horror house, the teachers as monsters. So um, that led me to the drop, a uh, dropping of the school. So I had this question that because we are also in the age where information technology, where AI is burgeoning. So is it necessary for people or for children especially that they should join? Because more or less the scenario is haven't changed very much. Although uh, there are, I would say policy-wise, there are, there are many changes, but the people who are employed in the schools, they are more or less of the same consciousness. So can this, uh, like today we have virtual education as well. And you were also talking about the limit, uh, their seats are limited. Uh, so students cannot afford education. But thing is, if they are interested into something, they can venture uh, into that on their own without having any um, affiliation to any degree or something. So is it really a necessity for us as curious people to uh, enroll into some course or school or traditionalist form of education? Or can there be a way out where they are more conscious and more, uh, you know, they are more open to this sort of education? <laughs> Thank you. This is like a very intelligent question. Uh, I think Kabir, Nanak, they didn't go to any school. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So nature is the biggest university of the planet. And if you are, if you know, the learning uh, is not to go out. So if you learn to uh, go to the inward journey, everything is inside you. Yeah, universities and colleges do make difference. I mean, we have the system in place. But if you don't get it, that is not the ultimate, this thing. You know, you're in a world where everything is, you know, Google Devta bhi hai, there are n number of institutions where you can get knowledge. So Kabira was not trained in any of the college. So yes. your free word, you can do whatever you want. There's, there, there's no limitation of any kind. Yeah, so uh, why I asked that question, because I'm, I myself, I'm experimenting that kind of thing that uh, after my graduation, I didn't took up anything. And I'm working as uh, an SS volunteer as well. And, and that's, that's a very uh, auspicious thing to happen. And what, uh, what, it's not just the online repositories, but I'm trying to, uh, like something I've started called as Philosopher's Club, where we have those ancient uh, scriptures and all those, the, the agnostic literatures and spiritual literatures compilation. So, Although it, it is not validated by some sort of degree, but as you said, Kabir Kabir Sahab or, or let's say Nanak, they are they don't they are not literate. Uh, they haven't received any accolade from any university, but uh, what they have provided is is priceless, is timeless. So can we let's say uh, is it possible to create an alternative? Like people would they, they are very pragmatic. They would ask, "A karbili to kya ho jaye?" Because that's, uh, there is no material, uh, you know, um, how to say, benefit of that. For instance, if they hear IIT, IIM, or institutions like that, those uh, giant institutions, so they would say, okay, we, we are uh, happy to enroll into it. But if, 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 if I say that there is some, some, let's say, in some utopian world, there is an institute of inner sciences, or where people would explore their creativity. So, they would just deject them. So I just want to know how this can be uh, transfused to the mass or the gross, con gross uh, consciousness. What what would be the modus operandi? Yeah, thank you. Which actually, what you are asking is like uh, it's a, uh, from many you know uh, hundreds of years we have been trying to that. But what we don't understand is that yeah. to understand Kavi, to understand Aurobindo, you have to come to their level first. You know. Uh, there are few things which are uh, required at primary level, which are few things which you need to elevate yourself to understand the concepts, because those are little serious concepts. When we talk about consciousness, when we talk about such subjects, these are like masterly subjects. Okay, so now idea is how to inject those things into the masses. Okay, this is workable, but problem is that right from the beginning. My perception has been that the scholars all over the world have this tendency to make things difficult. 
the very first thing go to go into you know uh, as a filmmaker i have read somewhere if you want to be a good filmmaker you are like a zoo keeper where you have animals of different temperaments so your duty is to go into their temperaments and get your work done if you can't do that bring them into your temperament and then get your work done so the very first thing you know i'll cite one example i in delhi university in a girls college i pick all is something one persian scholar a friend of mine was giving one lecture and talking about the value importance of ancient manuscripts so in the university they have many uh, after it was a one hour lecture but after 5 minutes most of the girls were yawning taking chips and everything and when after the show we were seeing the principal okay. said, hey, this is the problem with the generation they don't listen i said you are using persian words which even person from theater like me can't understand why can't you have a interpreter with you the language is alien to these girls they they they, they are reading shakespeare words or tennyson they are reading romantic poetry and you are talking about the language which is not in practice yeah sir so you need to find ways okay uh if you have this capacity to make things simpler you can inject any ideas not forget about the masses you can talk to children like for example i have a daughter who is 13 years old uh, when she was 10 the teacher said okay, we should be god fearing she said no i don't fear any god and the teacher wrote in a notebook and said this thing so she said papa i said this said you fine there's no need to be scared of any god we have scared people right from the beginning this mm-hmm. was a conscious effort not to share this knowledge this wisdom with the people with the commoners so let's understand you are in a world where you have social medias your technical technological powers if you use your mind and be creative you can share any thought of kabira like if we if we talk about kabira itni simple language कहीं दुनिया में हो सकती तो आप मुझे बताइए कि प्रेम गली अति सांकरी जहां में दो न समाये यू टॉक ऑफ शेडिंग द वेस्टनर हैव रिटन 300 पेजेस बुक ऑन शेडिंग ईगो बट इन टू लाइंस इज ए प्रेम गली अति सांकरी जहां में दो न समाये रहीमन धागा प्रेम का मत तोड़ो चटकाए टूटे से फिर ना जुड़े टूटे तो गांठ लग जाए सिंपल इज दैट Exactly. Where is the philosophy? Where is the science to, like uh, Aurobindo is saying that we need to nurture a soul. If your mind is pure, only then you can. Where is the rocket science? But only thing, uh, all of the world, the scholars from the many years, they have trying to make things difficult. So make it simpler. You can communicate. Communication is the simplest thing. It can happen anywhere, provided. to be organic and creative i think answer could answer your question anything else sir from anyone um uh, may i speak something i am yuki um hello rajesh ji oh nice to hear from you dr yuki so dr <laughs> yuki she is hod in delhi university a good friend and she is the heading a media department i am honored to that you are here yuki please go on thank you so much so we are talking about education and being in delhi university and uh, being a part of education and, and students uh, i would really like to introduce a uh, one new uh, philosophy which is coming up which is liberating structures it is nothing new per se but has been bottled in a new way which talks about that how in a uh, we have been in a very rigid education system and our uh as you mentioned kabir as you mentioned arbindo they all talked about being free if you want to study if you want to have all the education all the best things of education you need to be free so there are new structures which are coming up called liberating structures in which you just just want to take away with the with table and chairs in the classroom why there there are tables and chairs in earlier times we all used to sit in a circle and then we used to study now there there is a hierarchy that there is a professor who is who is at a, a pedestal and then there are students who are were considered in a different class so they just want to break all these things this will enhance the quality of education and will allow the student to just give their inputs in a very very free manner so i'm just wanted to introduce this liberating structure here at this platform thank you 
Yeah, that's right. Well said, Yuki. Actually, as you said, there's nothing new. Okay, everything is recyclable. Even humans are recyclable. No thought is permanent. Nothing is absolute. So we keep uh, reinventing things. Just uh, like you said, bottle is new. Uh, but the idea is why we are not able to propagate such thing is because we have a corrupt nexus world, just ke irade kuch aur hain. Okay, so we may uh, want this kind of liberation, but the corporate world doesn't. They want to make you uh, uh, fool every time because the world is here to, they have some ulterior motives. Unke kahi political hain, kahi commercial hain. Like for example, aap ki puri life mein, aap, aap ad mein cheeze dekhte hain, gai ka doodh aaj ki date mein bohat bikra hai because suddenly people are health conscious. And the ad say, that guy ka dood sab se gaada. Technically, guy ka dood patla hota hai. They sell creams, jo aapko gora karengi, puri dunya mein koi aasi cream ni, jo aapke skin ko change kar de. Look in an every ad, they scare you. Aapko darate hain, aapko kahi ye batate hain ki that you don't, oh ma'am, you use this soap. This will, you know, ye aapke bachche ke skin ko destroy kar dega. And they sell you telcom powders ye wo, which are more harmful than anything else. So, we, right from the beginning, in our ancient wisdom, we have organic way to deal with every problem. Vegetables, every medicine is in your kitchen. We have Ayurveda uh, system of medicine, which is like very, uh, I mean, time-tested. There's no argument about it. But why with the onslaught of this so-called modernism, this corporate world, like they are not modern, okay? So this... There are so many funda that this is like, so I think uh, whatever you're talking, Yuki, we need to talk about this thing at, at various levels, schools, universities. As you said, this is not like if you uh, if you talk about uh, uh, Rabindranath Tagore's school of thoughts, it was entirely different. school where the heat of the sun is so hard that it burns your skin. But there was a concept behind it. Na? So we need to go back to these ancient uh, wisdom. Everything is there. And trust me, people like you, people like Dr. Tripathi, what I'm trying to say again, saying ke, it is not at all rocket science to share these philosophies. Only thing, we must try to simplify things, go into the the milieu of the commoners and then share ideas. You can't bring them to your level because they don't read. They, they, I mean, they are, might not have that kind of this thing, but you can go to their level and make things happen. Isn't it? Uh, uh, can I say something, Kishorji? I'm Savita Sharma. Yes, yes, yes please, ma'am. Yeah. Savita Sharma uh, is one of the prominent theater <laughs> directors from Delhi. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with us. Yeah. Yeah. Sabse pehli to, uh, on behalf of uh, Shabd Yatra, uh, Kishore Ji, thank you so much ki hamara platform jo hai ek aapki prestigious uh, society ke saath uh, milke kaam kar raha hai. Um, phir bhi mein Rajesh ji aapse ek sawaal karungi ki hamara desh jo hai wo bhaat santon ka bhaat bhaat bade bade scholars, uh, philosophers hamare desh mein huye hai. और हम आज भी सच में परंपराओं की बात करते हैं जब भी मैं अपने आसपास भी देखती हूं बेहद केटरिस्ट हर कोई अपने बच्चों से कैसा एक्सपेक्ट करता है कि उनमें ह्यूमैनिटी हो वो बड़ों को बहुत रिगार्ड करे छोटों को पर इतने बरसों से ये आज तक हो नहीं पाया है हम जब भी बात करते हैं ऐसा होना चाहिए ये होना चाहिए ऐसा और हर आसपास हम यही एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं कि ये हम इंजेक्ट कर पाएं और ये बच्चे जो हैं हमारी परंपराओं पर आएं पर ये हो नहीं पाता पर सो क्या आपको ऐसा लगता है कि समय जो है बदलेगा और जितनी बातें आज हमने लेक्चर में भी सुनी हैं वो इंप्लीमेंट हो पाएंगी क्योंकि एक जो ब्रिज की बात करते हैं हम वो बन क्यों नहीं पाता है अभी तक क्यों नहीं बन पाया है प्लीज बताएं नहीं ऐसा भी नहीं है कि अभी तक बिल्कुल नहीं बन पाया दिस इज रॉन्ग टू से ब्रिज बनते हैं तभी हम यहां तक हैं द वर्ल्ड इज नॉट टोटली बैड प्लेस टू लिव 
बट uh, हाँ जो आपका पॉइंट है कि होता क्यों नहीं है इसलिए नहीं होता है क्योंकि हमने हमारे जो भी जो आपने कहा ऋषि मुनि गुरु उनको रिस्पेक्ट करना हमने नहीं सीखा कैसे जैसे मेरी एक कविता कभी सुनाऊंगा कि गुरु को मानते हो गुरु की बात नहीं मानते हो गुरु को मानते हो गुरु की बात नहीं मानते हो गुरु ऐसे पालते हो जैसे कुत्ता पालते हो कुत्ता खरीदने जाते हो उसकी सारी ब्रीड जान लेते हो गुरु को उसकी दाढ़ी से पहचान लेते हो द आइडिया इज के हम क्या करते हैं इंडिया में कि आपने कोई आपके पास चल के आया फिलोसोफर क्योंकि वो अंदर से भरा हुआ था लाइक वॉट हैपन विद बुद्धा एक दिन किसी गांव में गया और जाके लोगों को लेक्चर देना शुरू कर दिया सो वन रूरल वुमेन गॉड आप एंड सेट के स्वामी हम धन्य हो गए आपने यहाँ आए इतनी ज्ञान की बातें की और हमारी जिंदगी को अच्छा किया इसे नो दिस इज माई प्रॉब्लम मैं अंदर से भर गया हूँ मुझे छलकना है तो मुझे बंदे चाहिए जैसे चाहे का कब ज्यादा भर जाएगा है ना तो लेकिन गुरु के साथ क्या है कि जब वो पॉपुलर हो जाता है जब वो बहुत सारी चीजें कहता है तो हम उसको मानने लग जाते हैं हम उसकी फोटो लगाते हैं पूजा करते हैं तो जो फिलोसफिकल गुरु वांटेड यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लाइफ द कॉन्सेप्ट ही वांटेड टू इंजेक्ट समथिंग लेकिन आपने क्या किया नहीं देखो क्या है कि शराब नहीं हम छोड़ेंगे आप बात अच्छी करते हो लेकिन चलो आप कहते हो तो बैंगन छोड़ देंगे सो यू डोंट लिसन टू द गुरु जिस दिन आपने उस फिलोसफी को समझना शुरू किया एक लाइन ही आपकी जिंदगी में जो है आपका रेवोल्यूशन ला देगी शब्द दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी पावरफुल अचीवमेंट है दे आर मोर पावरफुल देन न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब्स। तो जिस दिन आपने कोई एक चीज भी किसी की पकड़ी तो आपका यू नो ऑल दी सूफीज आपने इतने नाम लिए इतना कुछ है दे वो अलग अलग जगह पे अलग अलग काल में डिफरेंट एजेस में पैदा हुए हैं बट दे टॉक वन थिंग और सच एक ही है द गॉड इज वन ट्रुथ वही है वो नाम अलग है क्राइस्ट में बी अ डिफरेंट नेम बाबा नानक बुल्लिशा और रोबिंदो बट दे आर सेंग द सेम थिंग दे आर टॉकिंग विद द सोल सो वे इज द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट सो वन थिंग इफ यू से जैसे एक पंजाबी के पोइट हैं बुल्ले शाह के बात गल समझ ली तो फिर रौला की राम की रहीम की तेमौला की If you understand the concept, there shouldn't be any conflict of Ram Rahim and this is one thing, है ना? So जिस दिन भी आपने कोई दो word पकड़ के दो couplet जो lineों को पकड़ के समझना शुरू किया उसके बाहर गए तो पहली चीज आपके साथ ही होगी कि आप अपने आप को खो दोगे. You'll have identity crisis. You have to lose your personality to go to the guru. किसी गुरु के शरण में like श्री और दो जो कहते हैं कि सोल नर्चर करने की बात कहते हैं सारी ये वो सो दिस इज अब्जेक्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड यू गो टू हेम ही इज देयर फॉर यू ही स्टिल देयर फॉर यू मदर अल्फासा इज देयर कबीर इज देयर बट क्या आप अपनी आइडेंटिटी को मारने के लिए तैयार हैं क्या आप अनलर्निंग के लिए तैयार हैं लर्निंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू रीड बुक्स यू टू यूनिवर्सिटी डू वट एवर यू वॉन्ट But the most important thing in life is unlearning. तो क्या ये जो लिखा हुआ उसको मिटा सकते हैं हम जिस दिन वो मिटाएंगे तभी कभी आपके पास आएगा अगर वो हाथ नहीं लगाना देगा यू नो दिस इज अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ लाइक आई टेल यू एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बुद्धा जो ब्रिज की आप बात करिए बुद्धा के पास एक आदमी गया और उसने कहा कि आ, मैं भी आया हूं मुझे भी ज्ञान दे दो डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ क्लाउन ऑन डेली बेसिस वन द बुद्धा वॉज लाइक इन टू मेडिटेशन गए मुझे भी ज्ञान दे दो ज्ञान दे दो एक दिन दो दिन दस दिन एक महीना बीत गया कुछ नहीं हुआ छह महीने बीत गए एक दिन सडनली वो आदमी आया एंड स्टार्टेड डांसिंग एन एक्सेस ही वॉज फुल ऑफ जॉय एंड हैप्पीनेस स्टार्टेड ये और जाके बुद्ध के पैर छुए के, के प्रभु क्या ज्ञान दिया मेरी जिंदगी सफल हो गई सो आई एम सॉटेड आई एम गोइंग एंड आई जस्ट गो एंड स्प्रेड योर मैसेज एंड इवेंट अवे बुद्धाज एसोसिएट हिज कजन ब्रदर सेट के प्रभु ये क्या ड्रामा है छ महीने से एक वर्ड कभी एक्सचेंज नहीं हुआ यू डेंट टॉक टू हिम एंड दिस पर्सन इज क्लेमिंग टू हैव रिसीव नॉलेज फ्रॉम यू इज इट दिट समथिंग स्ट्रेंज इसे छह महीने से कोई ब्रिज नहीं बना था अब वो ब्रिज बन गया तो ऑटोमेटिकली नॉलेज ट्रांसफर होगी जैसे मैंने बीच में लेक्चर में कहा आकाशिक रिकॉर्ड हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ दिस this word akashic record whatever the knowledge wisdom by all these saints have been imparted it is still there just because you can't see words it doesn't mean don't don't exist 
they might have some shape or sizes tomorrow some scientists may invent something in gadget and show you ke words aise dikhte hain so jo hum is kamre mein baat kar rahe hain lecture kar rahe hain this is not recorded in your gadgets only this is there in the system so the souls like aurobindo or kabir when they are elevated they easily access those record the way you access digital repositories the way you transfer data through wifi the way you transfer data through other softwares who has created those softwares human brains but what uh, thing they have utilized they have tapped the natural energy so when that energy can be used through mobiles and different gadgets it means that is all the ultimate thing on this planet so it means these sufi saints and meditated yogis they have this much of power to elevate their self to to the extent and connect with that uh, largest computer and grab in the entire knowledge there is no need to read any book to go to university wo jo bhi the the other gentleman asked ke how we can do this this is the way so all the like philosophers have taught us all these things kabira nana korobindo bullesha rumi go to anyone go to 5000 years we have been talking about different universes mangal kaisa dikhta tha we were scientists all these rishis jinko humne poochna shuru kar diya they were actually scientist just aap whatsapp pe video call karte hain what is this if you can relate it to with the mahabharata sanjay this is same technology just because you don't understand it doesn't so we said this is mythology it's not mythology at all you have uh, people here in india and in many parts of the world there is one blind man in tamil nadu he can foresee a bus from 5 kilometers and tell how many people are sitting in that bus he has that energy you talk about mahabharata you talk about ramayana there are two ways to look at these scriptures one is a religious way second is a scientific way so it's high time that we start talking about the scientific aspect of these scriptures and tell our children these are not just mythological books uh hum ab abhinyu ki baat karte hain sri aurobindo says uh, the education start before birth right like when the couple just even start thinking of having a child the education should start at that time if you can understand cells human mind human body is a colony of 30 trillion cells what i'm saying 30 trillion cells and each and every cell is a different individual so when you say something to your mind conscious mind something you can't do that and if my subconscious mind start believing in that that t trillion in do you say ki the boss is saying that i can't do that so i'll surrender so in the entire life he'll not dare to do anything which is beyond the single say no i am not able to do this because i don't have that mind because you have been injected with those ideas so those every cell has a information there is one example from america there was one boy of 14 years whose heart was transplanted after 3 days when he regained his consciousness he asked for a non veg pizza whereas the entire family was a vegetarian he himself was a vegetarian so everybody was surprised doctor sir ye kaise ho gaya then they suddenly realized ki jis bacche ka heart transplant kiya gaya he is non vegetarian so that heart contains some information aap ganga mein ja ke dubki lagate hain kyunki aap pure hai to kyun lagate hain there is scientific reasons the water has this element to grab the entire information from your body somebody in ganga 5 km from your away from you can grab the entire information for your mind through water the one of the purest water on this planet is of was of ganga abhi to main nahi jaanta so these are the things which we need to understand and share this is not a rocket science to pehle hum khud ko agar hum karenge khud ko enlighten karenge तभी हम आगे शेयर कर पाएंगे और इनलाइटन करने के लिए बहुत जरूरी है टू गो बैक टू आर गुरु डोंट से दे वर्ड दे आर हेयर और बिंदो इज ऑलवेज देयर टू हेल्प यू प्रोवाइडेड यू केयर टू गो नानक इज देयर फॉर यू बट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ड्स फर्स्ट हम हम गुरु को ऐसे नहीं कहें कि आप किसने गुरु को कहा है तो पूजा करना अगरबत्ती जलाने से क्या होता है आप पीछा छोड़ाना चाहते हैं बेसिकली के 
है ना चलो हमने चंदा दे दिया तो अब हमें माफ कर दो इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट सो अंडरस्टैंड द रियल कॉन्सेप्ट आई थिंक विल बी एबल टू कलेक्टिवली मेक सम डिफरेंस द वर्ल्ड इज अ गुड प्लेस टू लिव थिंग्स कीप ऑन हैपनिंग अच्छा बुरा दोनों नेचर के नियम है दिन के साथ अच्छा काले के साथ गोरा मोटे के साथ पतला इस इज द वे ऑफ नेचर अच्छाई यू कांट इमेजिन इन द एबसेंस ऑफ बुराई सो दीज आर टू बहने हैं एक ही साइड के दो सिक्के के दो पहलू हैं राइट सर एनीबडी एल्स हमारे बीच में प्रोफेसर विजय शंकर शुक्ला सर हैं जो कि इंदिरा गांधी राष्ट्रीय कला केंद्र में बहुत ही प्रतिष्ठित पद में और काफी इनमें काम किया सर आप कुछ बोलना चाहेंगे किशोर जी में विशेष रूप से जी राजेश राजेश जी को मैं कंग्रेचुलेट करना चाहता हूँ कि पहली बार वस्तुतः मैंने इस विषय पर एक ऐसा व्याख्यान सुना जो पूरा का पूरा व्याख्यान पारंपरिक ज्ञान परंपरा की भूमिका आश्रय लेकर के आगे बढ़ा तो इसलिए बहुत अद्भुत व्याख्यान रहा और इस व्याख्यान के बिंदुओं को अगर हम सब ध्यान देंगे विशेष रूप से आपका जो है प्रकल्प है तो इसमें बहुत सारी बातें आई हैं जिनके आश्रय से अलग अलग बिंदुओं पर हम लोग कार्य कर सकते हैं जी तो मैं विशेष रूप से अभिनंदन करता हूँ धन्यवाद देता हूँ राजेश जी को कि उन्होंने बहुत ही प्रौढ़ और बहुत ही ज्ञान से युक्त एक व्याख्यान हम लोगों के सामने प्रस्तुत किया और मेरा विशेष रूप से सौभाग्य रहा कि मैं पूरा व्याख्यान सुन पाया क्योंकि ठीक दस मिनट बाद मुझे एक दूसरी मीटिंग में जाना था तो मैं, मुझे लग रहा था कि मैं समापन तक नहीं जोड़ पाऊंगा तो फिर कभी मिलकर के आपके साथ इस विषय पर चर्चा करेंगे धन्यवाद एक बार फिर से थैंक यू वेरी मच प्रोफेसर शुक्ला फॉर योर काइंड वर्ड आई मीन डेप्टेड आई मीन गेटिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ फ्रॉम सच एंड पर्सन लाइक यू इज ऑनर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू हमारे बीच में उड़िया भाषा में लिखने वाले जुगल किशोर सरंगी जी हैं बहुत ही प्रतिष्ठित लेखक हैं जो कि खाली लिखते ही नहीं उनकी थिएटर का भी परफॉर्मेंस है जुगल किशोर सरंगी जी आप कुछ बोलेंगे जुगल किशोर सरंगी जी आप सुन पा रहे हैं मुझे आप कुछ बोलना चाहेंगे और 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 कोई कुछ बोलना चाहते हैं प्रिय दीक्षित जी हैं लखनऊ से चिल्ड्रन राइटर हैं दीक्षित जी आप कुछ बोलना चाहेंगे और आखिर किसी के कोई सुझाव कोई विचार हो मुझे लगता है सारा चीज क्लियर है संस्कृत में एक श्लोक है संस्कृत में एक श्लोक है वहां पे कवि कहते हैं कि ये जो संसार है एक विष का वृक्ष है पौधा है जो कि भरा हुआ है वो विष जहर से संसार विष वृक्ष द्वे फले ही अमृतों को में मतलब वो जो विष का पेड़ है उसमें दो ऐसे फल हैं जो अमृत देने वाले हैं मतलब मीठे फल नहीं है वो वो कुछ ऐसे फल है वो जो अमृत देते हैं और वो कौन से दो फल है पहला फल है संगम सूजन ही सह मतलब जो सत्संगति की हम लोग बात करते हैं और दूसरा है काव्य अमृत रस स्वाद जो काव्य है उसके जो अमृत रस होते हैं उसका आस्वादन करना तो लगभग तो ढाई घंटे से ज्यादा जो हम आपसे सुन रहे थे जिस तरीके से आपने परंपराओं का निर्वाह करके बातों को रखा सामने ये कोई इस तरीके से जो प्रेजेंटेशन है या प्रस्तुति है कोई किताब पढ़ के नहीं दे सकता जिसके अंदर में अपने अंदर की वो खूबियां ना हो मैं एक छोटा सा स्टोरी पढ़ा था कुछ सेकंड में बोलना चाहूंगा एक बार गुरुदेव रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर जब उन्होंने शांति निकेतन की स्थापना की जो कि एक बहुत छोटा सा बट वृक्ष के नीचे ही सुर था वहां पे कुछ बच्चे बैठ के कुछ स्केचेस बना रहे थे तो गुरुदेव जाके उनसे पूछे एक बच्चे को कि आप क्या बना दें तो बच्चा बोला मैं एक पौधा बनाने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ उसके जिस तो बोलते कि ये बन पा रहा है ठीक से बोलते नहीं मैं बनाने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ तो गुरुदेव उनको एक सवाल पूछते हैं क्या आपने उस पौधे को कभी देखा है बोलते हाँ मैंने देखा है 
तो वो उनसे फिर से सवाल करते हैं आप उसको उस पौधे को जाके जब सूर्योदय होता है उसमें देखिए सूर्यास्त के समय में देखिए चांदनी की उस सफेद किरणों में देखिए जब उसके ऊपर बारिश की वो बूंदे पानी गिरती तब देखिए जब वो पौधा कुछ एक फूल लेके आता है फल लेके आता है तब उसको देखिए जब उस पौधे में बहुत सारे छोटे छोटे चिड़िया बैठते हैं आवाज करते हैं उसमें देखिए तब जाके तुम्हारा जो मीनिंगफुल है तब जाके तो तो इस तरीके से जो आपने ट्रेडिशन को लेके बातें रखा ये आपकी बहुत ही प्रतिष्ठित जो एक्सपर्टाइज है क्योंकि आपने दुनिया देखा है यू आर एन आर्टिस्ट आपने डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज के थ्रू जिस तरीके से दुनिया को देखा है और जो क्रिटिकल तरीके से आप चैलेंजेस को और प्रॉब्लम्स को एनालिसिस करते हैं और हम लोग काफी सारे प्रोजेक्ट्स में बातचीत किए हैं लगभग दस साल से ज्यादा हम लोगों के रिलेशन है एंड आई जस्ट कंसिडर हिम माई एल्डर ब्रदर आखिर मैं राजेश अमरो ही बोलूंगा मुझे लगता है कभी कभी मैं मुझे प्लीज, 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 <laughs> तो इस तरीके से ये बहुत ही अच्छा रहा और मैं बताऊं कि यहाँ पे जैसे शोरबिंदो सोसाइटी जो कि माता और शोरबिंदो की विजन को के दृष्टि में कैसे हम पूरी दुनिया में काम कर सकते हैं और महर्षि अरबिंदो और माताजी की जो भी टीचिंग्स रही लगभग 300 से ज्यादा संस्थाएं जो कि पूरी भारतवर्ष में और दूसरी संस्थाओं के थ्रू कार्य हो रहा है और हम लोग जैसे संस्कृति और इंडियन आर्ट एंड कल्चर के ऊपर स्पेसिफिक काम कर रहे हैं ये एक प्रोजेक्ट है जो बाल संस्कृति करके हम लोगों ने स्टार्ट किया था एंड चारू इज ऑल्सो देर बी जस्ट फाइनलाइज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम सेकेंड अगस्त एंड विद इन टेन डेज बी फाइनलाइज द a project and see is a delhi and listening through joining through this zoom she told that i will leave on 17th but i think before this i should we should have the workshop aap koshish karenge imagine honge hum yahan pe kuch schools mein gaye bachcho ko schools mein baatchit ki lagbhag 52 children aaye usme 3 days hum bhi un bachcho ke sath bacche bane aur it was really amazing jo humne usko information ke through kafi sare state se bhi aaya jo models humne usme implement kiye the और uh, काफी अच्छा एक सेशन रहा और उसमें मैं आपके साथ एक छोटा सा चीज शेयर करना चाहता हूं जो अभी हम नेक्स्ट करने जा रहे हैं ये हमारा एक सेकंड वर्कशॉप है जो कि बात चौदह से सत्रह नवंबर में हम लोग यहाँ पाण्डिचेरी में कर रहे हैं ये फोर डेज का वर्कशॉप है जिसमें भारतवर्ष के या कहीं से भी कोई बच्चा उसमें पार्टिसिपेट करना चाहे आप हमारे श्रीविंदो सोसाइटी की वेबसाइट में इसके लिंक्स हैं, इसके रेफर कर सकते हैं दूसरी एक बात मैं दिखाना चाह रहा था आपको हम लोगों ने एक अभी एग्जीबिशन प्लान किया है जो कि वर्ल्ड चिल्ड्रंस डे के तहत इसको करना चाहते हैं ये है ये एग्जीबिशन 20 से 23 तारीख तक का हमने शेड्यूल रखा है और इस एग्जीबिशन में जो थीम है जो डाटा है इसको हम लोग कहीं से लाइब्रेरी से या कहीं से नहीं ला रहे हैं किताबों से नहीं ला रहे हैं हमने इसमें अपील किया है जो भी चिल्ड्रन राइटर्स हैं बच्चे हैं वो इसमें कुछ कुछ कंट्रीब्यूट करें चाहे वो बुक्स हो फोटोग्राफ्स हो आर्ट वर्कस हो डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म हो छोटा सा पांच मिनट दस मिनट का कोई क्रिएटिव वर्कस हो कोई कुछ स्टोरी पढ़ना चाहते हो तो हमारी ये एक छोटा कलाकारों के द्वारा दिए गए कार्यों के ऊपर ही परिवेशित होगा इसलिए मैं इस प्लेटफॉर्म में ये रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ शब्द यात्रा और इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट जैसे प्रतिष्ठित संस्थाओं के साथ ये कार्यक्रम शुरू हुआ है तो इसको आप ज्यादा से ज्यादा स्प्रेड कर सकते हैं हम लोग भी अपने लेवल में प्रयास कर रहे हैं और इसकी जो एग्जीबिशन है हम लोग 22 से 20 से 23 तारीख तक का प्लानिंग किए हैं इसमें आप लोग भी कंट्रीब्यूट कर सकते हैं और इस कार्य को आगे लेके जाने के लिए ये नहीं कि एक लेक्चर हुआ खत्म हो गई बात वो नहीं है जैसे आज हम राजेश भैया से सुने हमारी आगे की भी प्लानिंग है कि इसको कैसे हम एक रिसर्च में पब्लिकेशन में डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज में और प्रोग्राम्स में ला सकते हैं और इस साथ ही साथ जो इंस्टीट्यूशन इसमें काम कर रहे हैं इंटीग्रिटी के ऊपर काम कर रहे हैं उन सारे संस्थाओं के साथ भी जुड़ के हमें काम करनी है क्योंकि ये आखिर आप जो संसार का डेफिनेशन सुनेंगे 
कोई पूछता है कि ये जो संसार है इसका डेफिनेशन क्या है लोक क्या है हम बोलते हैं लोक है कोई बोलता है कि जो गतानुगति का लोक है जो चले गए हैं और जो अनुगत जो उनको अनुकरण कर रहे हैं वही ही संसार है इस तरीके से इस विद्या को हम जस्ट वन मिनट इस तरीके से ये जो प्रोजेक्ट हम लोगों ने यहाँ पे बाल संस्कृति टुवर्ड्स क्रिएटिविटी एंड इंटीग्रल डेवलपमेंट के तहत इसको प्लान किया था इसमें राजेश भैया का सेकंड लेक्चर रहा जो पहला इसका इनाग्रेशन था रश्मि नर्जरी सी इज वन ऑफ द चिल्ड्रंस राइटर इन इंग्लिश फ्रॉम नॉर्थ ईस्ट एंड रीजियन सी इनाग्रेटेड द प्रोग्राम एंड वी हैड द फर्स्ट वर्कशॉप देन वी हैव प्लान फॉर द सेकेंड वन विद एग्जीबिशन एंड टूडे आई जस्ट सेट वॉट एग्जैक्टली वी आर डूइंग एंड वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू do in our future plans i just appeal to all of you to kindly join in this noble mission we are uh, open to any ideas collaborate with the institutions we can bring out some of the good publications very good illustrative books it's not like about the publications or uh, adding some uh, numbers into this if you refer to the national uh, ministry of information and broadcasting publications report In India, approximately in 27 languages, 50,000 books are being published. That means the tradition is still surviving. If you refer to the ancient traditions, our ancient sages and seers, they wrote on the stones, on the paper, uh, leaves, whatever they got, they just recorded to leave the message to the generations. And I'm very much uh, thankful to Rajesh Bhaiya. मतलब उनके से उनसे सुनना जिस तरीके से उन्होंने साइंटिफिक तरीके से एक एनालिटिकल जनरेशन की बात की और जो एग्जांपल्स दिए मुझे लगता है राजेश भैया का अभी हम कई सारे प्रेजेंटेशंस करनी पड़ेगी जो सारी बातें उनसे हम लोग उभर के आ पाए प्रियेश जी कुछ बोलना चाह रहे थे शायद बीच में प्रियेश प्रियेश जी किशोर जी, जी, जी मैं भी थोड़ा सा कुछ और कहना चाहती हूँ प्लीज प्लीज हाँ बोलिए राजेश जी आ, नॉलेज uh, का एक बहुत बड़ा लाइक like, खजाना है और uh, शब्द यात्रा जो है वी आर वेरी ऑनर्ड कि राजेश जी इज पार्ट ऑफ दिस शब्द यात्रा तो मैं यहाँ ये कहना चाहती हूँ अभी आपने जिन भी पॉइंटर्स की बात की बच्चों से रिगार्डिंग शब्द यात्रा वो सभी प्लेटफॉर्म अपने साथ लेकर चलता है uh, बच्चों की मानसिक जो है Uh, उनका जो दिशा निर्देश हो चुक हो सके तो यहाँ मैं एक छोटा सा पॉइंट रखूंगी बींगे थिएटरिस्ट आपने अभी कितनी अच्छी सारे पॉइंटर्स बताए फिल्म्स हैं डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज हैं रंगमंच है कहानी है तो यहाँ पर मैं सॉरी नहीं नहीं प्लीज मैं एक एक लेख कभी लिखा था एक साहित्यिक पत्रिका है उसमें वहा एक बात आई थी कि साहित्य के जितनी भी विधाएं हैं उनमें जो नाट्य विधा है उसको सबसे महत्वपूर्ण माना गया है और उसमें भी बाल नाटक की जब हम बात करते हैं तो बाल नाटक जो है वो बच्चों के ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट में सबसे आगे रहता है और यहाँ एक एग्जांपल भी आता है कि ये कहा जाता है कि राष्ट्रपिता महात्मा गांधी जी ने भी जब पहला नाटक देखा था वो था सत्यवादी हरिश्चंद्र और उन्होंने ये सीख लिया था कि मैं जीवन में कभी झूठ नहीं बोलूंगा और ऐसे ही जब हमारे जो अर्थशास्त्री रहे हैं चाणक्य जी उन्होंने जब कुछ बच्चों को नाटक खेलते देखा और वो जब अपने अपने संवाद बोल रहे थे तो उन्होंने वहां पर एक बच्चे को जब संवाद बहुत ही प्रभावी बोल रहा था वो तो उन्होंने देख लिया था कि ये आगे चलकर बहुत बड़ा सम्राट बनेगा उसका कॉन्फिडेंस वो समझ गए थे और वो चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य जो है बने आगे जाकर तो ये पावर है नाटक की राजेश जी ने अपने लेक्चर में एक पंचतंत्र की कहानी को भी कोट किया था तो जो शब्द यात्रा भी है वो इसी दिशा में काम करता है कि यदि बचपन को हम बचपन में ही नर्चर करना शुरू कर दें उसका सबसे सटीक माध्यम है रंगमंच तो यदि हम उससे जोड़ते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि हम बच्चों को जिसे कहते हैं सर्वांगीण विकास हम उनका कर सकते हैं और बहुत इफेक्टिव रहेगा हम जब उनको मंच देते हैं तो हम उनको एक कॉन्फिडेंस देते हैं अपनी बात कहने का दूसरे की बात समझने का हम उसे बॉडी लैंग्वेज देते हैं 
जिससे कि उसकी बात प्रभावी हो जाती है हम कितनी बार शायद देखते हैं बहुत बड़े बड़े औहदों पे हम लोगों को देखते हैं वो अपनी बात आज भी कन्वे नहीं कर पाते क्योंकि वो बॉडी लैंग्वेज उनके पास नहीं होती तो मुझे लगता है बचपन एक ऐसी ऐसी आयु है जिसपे सच में हमें बहुत अच्छे से काम करने की जरूरत है तो मैं एक बार फिर से आपका सच में आभार व्यक्त करती हूँ शब्द यात्रा के माध्यम से कि आपने सच में हमें आज ये जो प्लेटफॉर्म दिया है अपनी बात कहने का राजेश जी ने कितना अच्छे से अपनी बातें कही हैं तो ये बिल्कुल हमें इम्प्लीमेंट करनी है और बच्चों तक लेकर जानी है ये हम सबका दायित्व है थैंक यू सो मच वंस अगेन हाँ ये बहुत ही अच्छा बात बताया आपने और जब हमने इस प्रोग्राम को प्लान किया था राजेश भैया से बातचीत हुई और शब्द यात्रा संस्था का भी बात आया और इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट की भी बात आई पहले भी जैसे मैंने बोला कि हम लोग चाहते हैं कि जो संस्थाएं इस दिशा में कार्य कर रहे हैं और जो लोग हैं उनको जोड़ के ही हम लोग इसको अच्छे से कर सकते हैं और ये जो रंगमंच का कॉन्सेप्ट है ये बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग है वी विल ऑल्सो आर डोट दिस अभी जैसे हमारा सेकेंड वर्कशॉप है चौदह से सत्रह उसमें हम लोगों ने बच्चों का भी एक छोटा सा प्लान किया है कि वो भी अपने परफॉर्मेंस करें आधे घंटे का हम लोग ड्रामा करेंगे और मैं ये रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ राजेश भैया से कि शब्द यात्रा और इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट के साथ मिलके अभी नेक्स्ट महीने हमारा डेली का भी विजिट का बातचीत हुआ है हम लोग उस समय कुछ कर सकते हैं इवन इफ वी कैन ऑल्सो प्लान समथिंग इन पाण्डिचेरी Beyond then, Pondicherry and Delhi, we can reach to different states, and also we can go beyond then uh, India and to reach other things. This is really good suggestion. Uh, Definitely. I want to say one thing. I am saying it. I am saying it. Yes, yes. Uh, मैं uh, like राजेश जी को personally भी जानती हूँ and काफी मुझे uh, insightful लगा जो conversation उन्होंने रखी uh, जैसे मैं एक चीज बस एक experience share करना चाहती हूँ uh, like मैं personally खुद भी थिएटर में काफी ज्यादा इन्वॉल्व रही थी कॉलेज के टाइम पे और अपने स्कूल के टाइम पे एंड uh, राजेश जी से भी मैंने कॉन्वर्सेशन करी थी एक बार कि uh, पहले जैसे मेरे ऊपर ऑब्वियसली हर पेरेंट्स को एक इच्छा होती है कि उनका बच्चा अकेडमिकली अच्छा करे पढ़ाई में और जो रिक्वायरमेंट है एक सोसाइटी की एक अकेडमिक्स की एक नौकरी चाहने के लिए वो सब देने के लिए वो प्रेशर रहता था लेकिन uh, जब मैं अकेडमिक बहुत मैं बहुत अच्छे से परफॉर्म नहीं कर पा रही थी क्योंकि मुझे टेक्स्ट बुक में पूरा डाला जा रहा था कि स्कोर लाओ मार्क्स लाओ जिसकी वजह से मैं परफॉर्म नहीं कर पाई थी एंड मैं मेरे को एक क्लास पीछे दोबारा जाना पड़ा एंड फिर मेरे पापा क्योंकि उन्होंने बहुत रिसर्च करी हुई है किड्स साइकोलॉजी पे और वो इंक्लूसिव एजुकेशन और इन सब पे काफी उन्होंने पी करा था ऑक्सफर्ड से वो एक ब्यूरोक्रैट थे एंड ऑब्वियसली बहुत कम उम्र में वो चले गए दस पंद्रह साल पहले तो जब उनको वो दिख रहा था कि ये सिर्फ एकेडमिक नहीं है ये एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर से लर्निंग बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होती है तो उन्होंने मेरी स्कूल चेंज कराई थी जहाँ पे उनको फोकस पढ़ाई और एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर सब में इम्पोर्टेंट था एंड मैंने अपना वहां से थिएटर जर्नी शुरू करा था जिसकी वजह से मेरे को मेरे मार्क्स एक्चुअली थिएटर में इन्वॉल्व होने के बाद ज्यादा बढ़ गए थे जो मैं एक अकेडमिक में रह के नहीं स्कोर कर पा रही थी जब मुझे सिर्फ टेक्स्ट बुक में डाला जा रहा था इनफैक्ट उस पहले मैं स्कूल का नाम नहीं लेना चाहूंगी बिकॉज हर स्कूल का अपना कैलिबर होता है नहीं, तो नहीं। जिस स्कूल में पहले डाला गया था उस स्कूल में एक्चुअली मार्क्स के बेसिस पे थिएटर में रोल मिलता था और इस स्कूल में आप एक्टिंग करो अच्छा एक्टिंग करोगे तो आपको लीड रोल मिलेगा लेकिन वो लीड रोल मिला और मेरे स्कोर्स भी साइमिल्टेनियसली इम्प्रूव हुए थे फिर वो धीरे धीरे मेरा इन्वॉल्वमेंट इतना हुआ कि आज मैं दादी पदम जी एक है पद्मश्री पपिट्रियन है बहुत yes, बड़े yes, yes. आ, मैं उनके साथ इन्वॉल्व हूँ थिएटर में और पपिट्री में एंड उनके oh. साथ एक्चुअली मैंने पूरा वो सीखा है कि कैसे आप किड्स के साथ एक इंटरक्टिव वे में चीजें समझ सकते हैं और सिखा सकते हैं जो मैं आज अपने तीन साल बच्चे के साथ करती हूँ एंड oh. जब मैं बुक्स yeah. लेके बैठती हूँ तो वो वो भी समझता है और जब मैं उसी पपेट से वो चीज बुलवाती हूँ तो वो भी समझता है तो आई थिंक ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कि और मुझे काफी दुख होता है जब मैं कई पेरेंट्स को देखती हूँ कि वो कैसे पुश कर रहे हैं कि बेस्ट स्कूल में एडमिशन कराना है पर एक क्वेश्चन भी है यहाँ पे एक एज अ पेरेंट एज जब तक पेरेंट नहीं बनी थी तब तक तो बड़ा आइडियल साउंड करता था अरे पपट्री करवाओ थिएटर करवाओ अब जब मैं एक पेरेंट बन गई हूँ अभी तक मुझे सब लग रहा है कि हाँ मैं अपने बच्चे को एक नॉर्मल ट्रेडिशनल स्कूल में नहीं भेजूंगी कन्वेंशनल भेजूंगी बट एक ऑफकोर्स कहीं एक एज अ मदर एक फियर भी है कि अगर मैं इसको ट्रेडिशनल में नहीं भेजती हूँ मैंने बहुत सारे स्कूल्स में रिसर्च करा है जहाँ पे ये एक्टिविटीज के थ्रू पढ़ाते हैं ये करते हैं ट्वेल्थ ट्वेल्व इयर्स तक वो टेक्स्ट बुक इंट्रोड्यूस नहीं करते हैं मैथ्स पढ़ाते हैं तो सीढ़ियों से पढ़ाएंगे बहुत कुछ मैं रिसर्च कर रही हूँ पर मेरे मन में फिर भी एक डाउट रहता है कि मैं कल को इसको बारह साल तक अगर इन 
नॉन मॉन्टेसरी टाइप स्कूल में भेजो मॉन्टेसरी एक पूरा जो एक प्लेटफॉर्म है उस टाइप के स्कूल में भेजो तो 12 साल बाद अगर ये ट्रेडिशनल स्कूल में जाएगा मेरे को पता है कि इसकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर अ वर्ल्ड फॉर द सोसाइटी बहुत अच्छी होगी लेकिन एक जो सो सेट नॉर्म है एक जो एक सोसाइटी गवर्नमेंट एक एक सिस्टम जो बना हुआ है कहीं वहां पे ये लाग कर गया तो फिर क्या होगा एक वो फिर के आगे चीत है हाँ तो हाँ. वो बस एक फियर डेफिनेटली रहता है और वही एक कंफ्यूजन है आई थिंक अभी के जो पेरेंट्स हैं आई थिंक उन सब में यही एक कंफ्यूजन रहता है क्योंकि वो सब नहीं चाहते हैं ट्रेडिशनल करना बिकॉज प्रॉब्ली दे हैव कम फ्रॉम अ जनरेशन जहां पे पुश किया जाता था इंजीनियर बनो एम बनो डॉक्टर बनो तो वो हम लोग एज अ फ्रेंड्स ग्रुप भी समझते हैं कि हम अपने बच्चे को ये प्रेशर नहीं देंगे हमें रिजल्ट नहीं चाहिए बट हमें कहीं ना कहीं वो भी फेयर है कि यार कल को फिर ये अपना इंडिपेंडेंट कैसे बनेगा तो वो एक कंफ्यूजन एज अ दिस टाइप ऑफ पेरेंट्स में एक अभी आई थिंक है तो उससे रिलेटेड थोड़ा सा अगर कोई टॉक शो या वर्कशॉप या कुछ भी मतलब आई एम जस्ट यस यस दिस इज अ गुड आईडिया एक्चुअली आप आप कहां से बोल रहे हैं जी Uh, मैं मैं दिल्ली से हूँ ओके ओके सो राजेश भैया आप कांटेक्ट डिटेल शेयर करेंगे हम लोग आगे कर सकते हैं। समथिंग? नेहा लाइक शी इज फ्रॉम शी वाज एन एनडीटीवी। जर्नलिस्ट नाउ शी इज अ कंटेंट हेड इंडियन एक्सप्रेस शी इज अ गुड फ्रेंड जो नेहा कह रही है वो इनसेटीज डेफिनेटली पेरेंट्स उसमें है बट मैं बताऊँ की अगर आप इंडिया में गूगल भी करोगे बहुत से थाउजेंड ऐसे पेरेंट्स हैं जिन्होंने कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड दिल्ली छोड़ के टू हिल्स और होम स्कूलिंग कर रहे हैं एंड ट्रस्ट मी दे आर मेनी चिल्ड्रन जो uh, बहुत ना सिर्फ स्टडीज में बल्कि एक्सप्रेशन में दे आर लाइक वेरी वोकल एंड वेरी नॉलेजेबल है ना सो इनसेक्योरिटी है क्योंकि इतना बड़ा सिस्टम है उससे आप अकेले लड़ेंगे तो आपको दहशत डेफिनेटली है लेकिन मैं फिर कह रहा हूँ कि वेन यू हैव अ कन्विक्शन दर इज अ वे है ना So, uh, इसके साथ मतलब आप uh, अगर आप चाहते हैं मतलब बहुत से लोग होम स्कूलिंग कर रहे हैं इसी जो सिस्टम है ये सिर्फ डराने के लिए है ठीक है मतलब मैं आई एम नॉट लाइक अगेंस्ट दिस काइंड ऑफ सिस्टम बट वन एम से देर इज अ कॉन्शियस एफर्ट टू स्केयर यू एवरी टाइम नॉट इन स्कूल्स बट एवरीवेयर वो हमें डराएंगे तो तभी वो जीत पाएंगे तभी हमारे से बिजनेस कर पाएंगे बट लाइफ इज सिंपल अगेन है जैसे मैंने पहले कहा कि कबीर कहीं नहीं गया था है ना इस विद इन यू मदर इज अ ग्रेटेस्ट टीचर इस दुनिया में बायोलॉजिकली मेडिकली प्रूव फैक्ट है कि बच्चे का जो कैरेक्टर है उसकी पर्सनैलिटी वो माँ पे डिपेंड कर मदर दे आर ग्रेटेस्ट टीचर्स लाइक यू सेट के माँ बनने से पहले कुछ और था बट नाउ यू आर अ मदर यू आर अ डिफरेंट एंटिटी ऑल टूगेदर so huge so, responsibility <laughs> psychologically <laughs> also <laughs> yeah but i think your topic is interesting dr tripathi should take care and yeah. with this i matlab i just take one minute i would like to uh, thank uh, sir yorobind society and dr tripathi for providing me this opportunity this is really a very interesting session uh, shabd yatra they are doing good work and promoting hindi poetry this is good and i would like to talk about my organization which is iid institute of industrial development yes. Yeah. Uh, so we are like from the last many years we are creating educational content and reaching out to remote areas to students and imparting online education because there are many gaps okay uh, like uh, education shouldn't be like limited to the certain you know uh, people who can pay so with uh, very uh, uh, innovative ideas we are reaching to the far off places and working like we are coming up with the channel my organization id is coming up with the national channel which is related to business so we are working on the women stories uh, catalyst who have who are changing making difference to the rural settings there is one story we covered recently uh, there is one lady in some parts of rohtak haryana i may be i don't remember the exact place she she makes cookies dr tripathi this is like very interesting she makes cookies yeah. hmm. and those cookies are sold in five star hotels oh You know, simple notion. You go to the five-star hotel, try those cookies, and say, "Give some hat, wala cook, you know, trained from America or great chef must be preparing these cookies." But those cookies are produced by house ladies from some parts of Haryana. Maximum of them are illiterate, but they're creating. So they are transforming the society around you, economic, social, political, every kind of. They're empowering women. 
So my institution is covering all such stories and we are working hand in day basis. And I hope that with your kind of collaboration, you are also like your society is bigger and working. So we can connect and uh, capture these Definitely. kind of stories and you know, do educational content in the times to come. Certainly we will do that. With great pleasure, we will do that. Yeah, thank you. Priyash Dixit ji, you wanted to say something in the middle. I'm sorry, I'm taking tea. Yeah, please, please. कुछ छोटे-छोटे बच्चे भी थे उनके पीछे में जी देखा बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग लग रहा था गांव के बच्चे और हमें <laughs> प्रेज़ जी आप अपना वीडियो ऑन करके उन बच्चों को दिखा सकते हैं वी लव टू सी छोटे 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 बच्चे दिख रहे थे आपके पीछे वी कैन हियर देयर वॉइसेस जी सर जिन का सर इस्तेफा था था सर निम्न फिर बहुत उनके स्तर पर रहता है बातचीत के मामले में या कहानी के मामले में हां हां पता नहीं उनको सर कैसे उनको समझ सर आगे तक कैसे बढ़ाएं सर अपडेट करें इनको सर क्या कहा सर सॉरी थोड़ा दोबारा बोलेंगे आप क्या बोल रहे थे सर इनको थोड़ा सा लेवल तक कैसे मतलब उनको उच्च स्तर किया जाए बच्चों का सर लेवल कैसे हाई किया जाए हम्म हम्म तो ये आवाज आ पा रही है हां ये बच्चे क्या किसी स्कूल को ये कपिलम करते हैं या सर जी सर सर ये सब बच्चे प्राइमरी के बच्चे हैं सर अच्छा प्राइमरी के बच्चे हैं जी राजेश भैया आप कुछ शेयर करिए मैं भी बोलता हूं आ, नहीं मैं आई डिडंट गेट हिज क्वेश्चन क्या कह रहे हैं सर वो बोल रहे हैं कि ये बच्चे प्राइमरी स्कूल में पढ़ते हैं और इनके लिए क्या टूल्स हम लोग या कुछ मॉड्यूल्स कर सकते हैं उनको कैसे हम लोग अच्छे से ये कर सकते हैं ये सवाल है उनका कुछ नहीं है और रविंद्र सोसाइटी की साइट पे जाइए और उसमें कुछ बच्चों को लेके बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरीज हैं वन ऑफ द स्टोरीज यूपी के किसी एरिया में और रविंद्र सोसाइटी के जो लोग हैं उन्होंने जो सोलर सिस्टम है वो समझाने के लिए दे यूज अ वेरी इनोवेटिव टूल उन्होंने कोई किताब नहीं कोई बैकबोर्ड नहीं कोई डॉक्यूमेंट ही नहीं उन्होंने बच्चों को पकड़ा और एक एक बच्चे को टोपी पहना के कुछ करके ग्रह बना दिया एक एक अब सोलर सिस्टम कैसे काम करता है कैसे वो सारी चीजें उन्होंने प्ले वे तरीके में उनको समझा दी सो यू डोंट नीड मनी यू नीड नथिंग यू जस्ट नीड टू अप्लाई दिस सिंपल मेथड्स आई थिंक दिस इज द बेस्ट टूल कि उनको अब प्ले वे तरीके में आप छोटे छोटे बच्चे हैं किसी को सन बनाइए किसी को मून बनाइए किसी को कुछ बनाइए एंड लेट देम प्ले सो विद दिस काइंड ऑफ इंटरवेंशन ये एक बार दिमाग में घुसेगा इस जन्म में दोबारा कभी बाहर नहीं आएगा क्योंकि बच्चे जो प्ले वे तरीके से सीख बहुत ही अच्छा जवाब रहा प्रिय जी आपका ये स्कूल देख के और उन बच्चों को देख के हमें भी अपनी वो स्कूल लाइफ की लाइफ की याद आ रहा है और जैसे आप ये प्राइमरी एजुकेशन की बच्चों की डेवलपमेंट की बात की जैसे भैया ने बताया कि नेचर के साथ जुड़ना आप बच्चों के लिए कुछ भी मॉड्यूल्स डेवलप कर रहे हैं कितने भी जिससे बनाए बच्चों को जितना सीख नेचर से मिलता है वो कोई भी ये से नहीं मिल सकती और मैं राजेश भैया का एक छोटा सा बात यहाँ पे दोहराना चाहता हूँ जब उन्होंने बोला कि जो मदर है मनुष्य की जिन्होंने जन्म दिया है वो सबसे बड़ा टीचर वही है मैं अपनी खुद की एक्सपीरियंस बताना चाहता हूँ मेरे जो माँ है उनकी लगभग उस समय काफी कम उम्र में शादी हो गया था लगभग तेरह साल के करीब और मेरी मदर जो है वो सिर्फ सिर्फ तीसरी क्लास तक पढ़ी है और जब मैंने अपनी एक लॉन्ग रन में अपनी पढ़ाई खत्म की और जिस दिन मेरा पीएचडी का कॉन्वोकेशन था मेरे माँ भी मेरे साथ गए थे मेरी पत्नी मेरे भैया सब जब मेरे कॉन्वोकेशन के सर्टिफिकेट मिला मेरे माँ ने उसको ऐसे करके लगा दिया जैसे बेटा जो है कुछ एक बहुत बड़ा सा चीज अचीव किया है दिन में कर मैं उस पल को आपके साथ ये नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ जो फीलिंग्स थे मेरे मैंने माँ के साथ काफी सारे तीर्थ स्थान भ्रमण किए हैं कई हेरिटेज साइट्स गए कई विलेजेस गए हैं और मेरे माँ को लगभग कई हजारों स्टोरीज याद है तो जब मैं इस मार्ग में ढूंढ रहा था कि मुझे कोई गाइड करे तो आप मैं बताना चाहता हूँ मैंने अपनी माँ को गुरु बनाया अपना द लिविंग गुरु तो राजेश भैया ने जो बात बोला कि जो माँ है और जो प्रकृति है वही ही सिखाती है आखिर आप भारतीय परंपरा में देखेंगे वही एक सनातनी ऐसी शक्ति है 
जो कि चेतना शक्ति भक्ति और हर रूप में सब हरे की विद्यमान रहा है और ये जो लर्निंग की बात हम करते हैं जैसे भैया ने बताया मैं भी यहाँ पे ऐड करना चाहता हूँ नेचर हमें हमारा सबसे बड़ा टीचर जो है वो हमारा नेचर है प्रकृति हमें बहुत कुछ सिखाता है इसलिए इन जो छोटे छोटे बच्चों के साथ प्रिय जी आप अपने समय बिता रहे हैं बहुत ही सुंदर ये है और इन बच्चों को ज्यादा से ज्यादा आप नेचर के साथ जोड़ के रखिए मैं एक छोटा सा बात बताना चाहता हूँ जब हम प्राइमरी एजुकेशन में थे हमें कुछ कुछ फ्रूट्स बना के लाने के लिए बोला जाता था केले बैंगन और हम बच्चे इतने शरारत थे हम केले के पेड़ से केले तोड़ के उसके ऊपर मिट्टी लगा के ले जाते थे और चार पांच बच्चे ऐसे मिलजुल के रखते थे कि हमें पता था फ्रूट्स को कहाँ पे रखना है और हमें ये भी पता था कि पांच से सात आठ दिन के बाद एक केले पक जाएंगे और हमें खाना है so so, मुझे लगता है कि बच्चों के साथ इसमें नेचर के साथ जुड़ के रहना एक ये है और दूसरी जहां पर कुछ मॉडल्स की बात हम करते हैं भैया की जैसे संस्था है इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट की बात है और स्टोरी टेलिंग को जिन्होंने उन्होंने काफी एम्फासिस दी मुझे लगता है इस तरीके से छोटे छोटे चीजों में हम ये कितने सुंदर सुंदर बच्चे हैं आपके चारों तरफ आप अपने स्कूल में कोई एक छोटा सा प्रोग्राम रखिए हम लोग जरूर आएंगे वहां पे उन बच्चों के साथ कुछ टाइम बिताएंगे बहुत बढ़िया मजा आ गया तो ये मेरा था अशोक जोशी जी कुछ बोलना चाहते हैं इसमें ओ बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग है नो वर्ड्स टू सी देम इस बच्चे का नाम क्या है जो आपके साथ है उन बच्चों का नाम क्या है प्रिय जी डिस्कनेक्टेड अशोक जी आप कुछ कहना चाहते हैं अशोक जोशी जी आप कुछ बोलना चाहते हैं आसमान में इतना पानी अच्छा तो मुझे लगता है मैं अब क्लोज सभा समापन करना चाहिए आप yes, कुछ दिखा दिस इज यस प्रिय जी कुछ प्रिय जी कुछ दिखा रहे हैं आप तो प्रिय जी कुछ बोलना चाह रहे हैं नहीं सर सुन रहा हूँ अच्छा ओके बहुत खुशी लगा कि आपने उन बच्चों को इन कार्यक्रम के तहत लाए और ये बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग रहा है ये तो एवरी एवरी बिगिनिंग हैज इट्स एंड यस 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 सो कपल ऑफ फ्यू डेज एगो वी ऑर्गेनाइज ए प्रोग्राम ऑन महर्षि अरविंदो एंड महाकवि सुब्रमण्य भारती महाकवि सुब्रमण्य भारती लिव्ड ऑन दिस अर्थ फॉर ओनली थर्टी नाइन ईयर्स जस्ट लाइक स्वामी विवेकानंद महर्षि अरविंदो एंड महाकवि सुब्रमण्य भारती आर गुड फ्रेंड्स महाकवि सुब्रमण्य भारती वॉज कंसिडरिंग महर्षि अरविंदो एज हिज गुरु सो वी ऑर्गेनाइज द प्रोग्राम एंड द एक्सपर्ट्स केम वी डिस्कस ऑन दर पोइट्रिक जर्नी एंड द क्रिएटिविटी so when the end came something one sentence came to mind that every beginning has its end but this is endless <laughs> jiska koi aadi nahi hai koi ant bhi nahi hai isliye anadi aur anand ki baatein hain aur agar is tarike se hum log discussion kare to kai ghante nikal jayenge uski koi ye nahi rahegi but main bataun ki kai sare programs hum logon ne kiye hain lekin aaj ka jo session tha wo kuch alag hi tha wo lagbhag hum 10 baje se 1 baje tak baith ke discuss kar rahe hain और आखिर इसको और भी डिस्कशन कर ले ये आगे चलता रहेगा बट जो आई थिंक दिस इज ऑलवेज नेक्स्ट टाइम एंड वी शुड कीप कनेक्टिंग या 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 वन सो विद दिस ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ श्री अरविंद सोसाइटी आई वुड लाइक टू पे आवर सेंस ऑफ थैंक्स टू सब दी यात्रा एंड इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट फॉर स्टार्टिंग दिस ग्रेट जर्नी एंड वी आर वेरी मच थैंकफुल टू टुडे स्पीकर राजेश भैया फॉर sharing his uh, creative expressions and which he presented in a very symbolic way which is quite simple and easily understood it was a kind of uh, teaching and learning process which he learned and uh, we are very much grateful to you for accepting our invitation and uh, for this collaboration and our sincere thanks to uh, shavita sharma ji 
and the authorities from the Institute of National uh, Industrial Development. We will keep continuing this dialogue and uh, let us focus uh, some of the constructive projects and the programs, practical things, how we can reach to the students to understand their problems and how we can contribute to, to uh, serve them. It is not like we'll teach something like that. But this is our humble submission. And with these few words, it was really an uh, unforgettable experience. Mr. Sahir is a dynamic fellow. He's associated with us. He's volunteering and is a dynamic fellow. And uh, I also thank to all of the audience, those who joined for this discussion. And we will meet again with these words. Thank you and namaste. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.